negated because I just realised that my trench coat is... Actually does hide things, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. Um, so, welcome to the recon Oh, hold on, things. hold on. I... Do you want to have that Dara bit in there? That's fine. Alright, and go. Okay, yeah. Welcome to the uh, the recon side, or the cool side of the pillow. Um, so, um, the other team says that uh, they have a contact with the Rebellion and they're going to be pursuing that. And you guys are in charge of getting the lay of the land. So let me... There is some descriptions in the book that I want to read for you guys. Just so you know it, your Besides Ordredama being a major city, uh, the large oval spaceport resembles a Corellian steam wasp hive. A huge dome structure covered in openings of various sizes. Transports come to the port, uh, come and go to the port, while airspeeders and repulsor lift craft ferry cargo from landing bays into the city. Flashing message boards surround all sides of the building, informing everyone of arrivals and departures of commercial space liners and other ships. Beyond, the rest of the city is built atop a hill and dominated by a large palatial building. So, what you see in, uh, besides uh, Livy and Magnus, uh, the, the city that you saw before, you see in the back, if there weren't 50 million pictures in between them. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to move you to places you're not actually going to see. So, uh, so there is very tall buildings in the back, but you can see this nice, uh, dang it, <laughs> that doesn't relate to you. Uh, we can see this nice group of stormtroopers walking towards us. And... Yeah, so there's not only that, uh, this, this palace built upon a hill, but you see this absolutely enormous statue hovering above everything. Uh, can I get an average lore check? I can give uh, two ranks in that to anyone who wants Probably to. Probably are two. Oh, wait. He's lore. got the intellect, right? May not have. Yeah, I got four intellect. So if you want yeah, to. Yeah, R2 on. could do that. Or Goblin could. I can give one rank in lore. Sorry. Yeah, I can give one rank in lore as well. Oh, boy. I don't even know what I have. I got a bunch of various skills. Well, then, Goblin, will you take that one rank in lore? Uh, what's the difficulty again? Average, so two difficulty. So you're you're staring at this this massive statue in the middle of the the square, and you recognize that statue as Darth Malgus. Oh wow! And so this statue has been here for millennia, uh, just weathered by time. That's why it, it wasn't immediately identifiable. And so you know that this this city has some history. Something you recall about the past of the city is that uh, during those those Sith wars. Uh, a massive battle cruiser had actually ca crashed into the city and really decimated it for some a long time and then uh, Darth Malgus, while when he was in control, uh, rebuilt the area. So And he made sure to leave a lot of statues of himself while doing uh, so. At least one absolutely massive statue. Well, uh, I mean, the, to be fair, he's a Sith. They're not known for being modest. Yeah, he was quite a humble man. <laughs> yeah, Malgus was never really all that uh, vain. I, he actually I, looked down upon people, but I'm guessing somebody else built a statue in his honor. Yeah. Well, he was pretty modest for a Sith Lord, <laughs> but that still meant he needed at least three <laughs> statues. That, that's like saying, you know, uh, you know Ah, never mind. Um, <laughs> I lost the analogy halfway through. <laughs> yeah, so something you note, um, just looking around, is that uh, this spaceport, spaceport area where you've got a lot of commerce going on, um, there aren't a lot of non-humans. Like, for a world like this, where you know the native population is not human, like, that's a bit strange. And of course, there are... Imperial patrols, uh, they look at you guys and move on. Well, good for them. Oh, this, uh, reeks of standard Imperial policy, subjugate the natives and then let the humans run rampant. Exactly. Um, well, so this, this is a, the most human populated, heavily Imperial controlled area of the planet. 
So, uh, thinking about the objectives you guys have, it's really to try and get information about where Varnerik would have taken Satena. Well, I think first and foremost, we should find out if he has yet arrived anyway. Uh, we might, I was, yeah, I was, yeah, was going to think, think maybe that. if we can't somehow get into the arrival and departure logs, legally well, we, or we illegally. Already know, well, we already know one administrator is corrupt as hell. We could probably just quietly throw some more credits around to get the information we want. Alternatively, Aiden can do some asking around. Uh, maybe not for this, but for afterwards. Whether we find out if he's here or not. Do some streetwise. Yeah, streetwise I am warned definitely capable help you get of hacking land. just about anything you uh, want. So, uh, the, so, what do you want to start off doing? I think we should try and figure out if he's already here. Then he would have a trail we could follow, or if he's not, then we do the asking around. We could, you know, ambush him. If he's not here yet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Alright, so let's let's find out if he's already here yet or not. Do we want to divide yeah, the guys right. further, or do we want a computer check? Yeah, computer check. Why not both? Well, how would, yeah, how would we, like, I doubt you can just plug into any terminal here and get what we're looking for. You that's probably true. Why not? Um, Macron could probably distract him while R2 jacks him. <laughs> distract who? Um, the, the administrator guy we talked to. Uh, he, you didn't see him in person. Oh, right. He sounds um, like a Russian toy Darian. <laughs> is there a higher level Darian can get to with a macro binoculars? Um, well, you, do you, see, do you, do you see buildings everywhere that tower above you, but what what are you looking for in particular? There, and of course, uh, the palace on the hill, uh, which, well, you don't, you don't know anything about it as of yet. I'll tell you what you'll see if you look around this area. Buildings. Save the macro binoculars for later. Yeah, um, maybe when we know where he is, roughly, we can use that to pinpoint him, but for yeah, now, I'll okay. no help. Any local Hollywood recordings or shows or whatever? Just get me anywhere near, like, a com, like a traffic tower, and I can probably jack into the security system and then yeah. start looking for the arrival and departure list. We could so, probably even just, like, remotely access the security system. So I try not to, really not. <laughs> I try not to pretend that I'm that all-powerful yeah. in this technologically so, world. So, hacking I, through uh, Wi-Fi isn't as, uh, as gotta, known in the Star Wars. Well, then let's go to the I got a question real quick. I got yeah. a question real quick. Is this guy in hiding? Well, we don't know. We don't even know if he's we here. We don't even know if he's here yet. Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. We're trying to get a starting point. So, I mean, yeah, do we know from him. the briefing, is he, if, is he in hiding? But we don't He's know. running from us. He so going he going running from us. We have no trail at all to look for. We're, we're trying to he, find yeah. a trail to follow at this point. Yeah, all you know is that he left before you. We is have nothing. Yeah, what, what kind of ship was he in again? A jump, okay, jump, jump, jump. Ship. That's about it. For all we know, he could have jumped up to this system and then immediately jumped away. I don't even know if he's going to stop here. So the spaceport would be a, probably a place that we can go, right? Yes. Yeah, we're and that's where there. we're going. That's where we are. Yeah. We're just, we just trying to find a way to get the information we need out of this spaceport. Can we go to the, the administrator's office or something similar? Or maybe a technician's cubicle, for lack of a better term? <laughs> and uh, uh, Yeah, I mean, the spaceport is large enough that it would, there would be, like, a central office for the uh, the people that work there that are managing the things like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, maybe have um, uh, Macron and or Aiden distract some people while R2 jacks in and tries to figure out what he needs to know. Sadly, I don't have enough explosives to cause distraction right now. Nor do we really uh, want to cause that sort of distraction. That's, that's not the kind of distraction we need right now. <laughs> it may come in handy when we find the guy, but for now, not so much. Okay, um, so keep in mind what Jack suggested as well. Um, so, time, you, the guy? Don't, you don't know how much time you have. So, if you already have a contact that could give you information, yeah. it might be better than trying to... Um, well, that's true, I forgot, we have a contact. Um, can Derek go and see if there's a map of the local area in the spaceport? There is. 
you see a, okay. a very large so, city. Yeah. Um, there's a place called the Barrows uh, that's outside the in the outskirts, and there are also some some you know living spaces outside as well on the outskirts. I of the think city. what we should do right now is immediately check the flight records to see if he has landed on the planet yet. Well, we'd have to get them from the administrator or from the computers. It yeah, like so that's what we should be that thinking be about. Okay. Well, it's... the other guy, we can use the contact whatever we want, but the contact won't have the information that the computer terminals here do. Well, he might have access to them. He can just give them to us. We wouldn't have to hack in. At the moment, maybe we shouldn't just all stand around constant. I, if we have several avenues, I say we exploit them all. Some of us go meet up with the contact and see what he knows, and then uh, he can relay that to whoever remains at the spaceport so we can use our mean to uh, get more information if um, we need it. Yeah, and you really only interacted with him over the comms, so you would just be at the sun flare calming the guy. So. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, then I guess we should just start there and call the contact. Yeah, let's start with that then. Okay. Well, no, we're going. We're not going to use public communications unless we have triple encrypted. Well, there are in communications. I imagine we have some form of. Yeah, they're on our ship. I guess it wouldn't be public. We're not using a quote-unquote payphone here. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I meant like, this is an imperial area. If we use like straight unencrypted messaging to talk to a rebel base, we're going to be noticed. What rebel base? You're not. They're not talking about a rebel, rebel base. Contact. No, they're they're talking about the the person, the administrator with the 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 spaceport, not the not anyone, not a rebel contact. That's what I understood oh. at least, right? That's what I got from it too when Jack originally suggested it, at least, yeah. This I think, I think when you said the contact, designed, designed. I don't. I'm pretty sure everything going out would be automatically encrypted. Who, who's who's our um, who's our face? Probably me or Aiden. Okay, so we're both. We can be we can be such a pretty face together. <laughs> we can be co faces. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're co faces. So Hank is kind of really getting me impatient. So he's like, uh, "We're here to contact someone. Is that what it is?" No, we're here to find no, someone, but we, we need to get some information I'm, first. In my opinion, we should try and get into the system either by paying off the dude or by hacking into the system so if we're gonna have to pay him off we probably would just get the information out of him anyway so we do have a contact right yes we do but well, let's go let's go to this contact no but that's what the other group is doing right that's just that's what the other group okay is. okay what what contact are you talking about leslie they're talking about the contact that is the rebel contact on the planet. Yeah, that's, that's what he's talking the, the about. The other group is already doing that, Leslie. Okay, all right, so I'm just, all right. So your guys are trying to get a lay of the land and trying to get some understanding, uh, trying to figure out if Narek has landed where and where he might have gone. All right, cool, While cool. the other group is trying to get together a force to actually... Um, you know, put, put up an actual resistance ag against the Imperials so if what, we need it. All right. So what our goal right now is, is to access the land flight data. That is our goal. You know, we can either do that by bribing a corrupt official or trying to distract people and slice into their records. And I think that we should do the distracting route. I mean, the bribing and, and getting a... Uh access to him as well could also act as a distraction in case he holds stuff back we we do do I'm, I'm all yeah. for doing everything yeah so we'll have somebody approach him and attempt to bribe him and we'll have somebody else slice him at the same time no you don't know where he is well it's the thing like for this building like, wouldn't it be pretty obvious where like the administrator's office is could we like get in to see him or no yeah but I mean he's not the only administrator Fair it sounds like tracking down this one guy is going to be more time and difficulty than you we need. You don't have to track him easier. down. You don't have to track him down. He already called you. Oh, okay. Already call him. Landing. Yeah. All right. So uh, okay, before it, they call him, can Dara and Hawk, if Hawk wants to, um, go and find the map of the area? Well, and there is no map. Can, 
Okay, Aiden and I will stay here and just talk to the administrator while uh, our two goblin, Dara Sorry. and Hank, Hank, go and get information physically through either a con tower or something that looks shiny and important. Sounds like a plan. All right. Now you All right. it is up to you. Great. <laughs> I mean, Pretty much, if we get R2 to a data terminal, then he can probably splice into these systems here. Well, then we can have confirmation. But at the moment, we're just turning our wheels, wondering if we should corrupt these, get exploit the corruption here, or slice into something, and it seems like doing both would be the most optimal route. Yeah, okay. come on, R2. Let's go. Beep boop, let's do it. Yeah. So just to make sure I'm, I'm, I'm catching up, because... I I wasn't on when we made all the switch. My my computer jumped. My computer uh, I had to reboot. So we're not looking for somebody. Uh, we're not looking for Tasha or whatever. That, that. We are looking for them, but we don't know if they're even here yet. So we're checking. Yeah. We have to find that out first. I got you. Okay. okay. And so upon their departure, I call the administrator back. No refunds. Oh, oh, I'm not looking for a refund. I was hoping we could perhaps expand our business arrangement. I'm listening. Well, you see, a cousin of my new wife here was supposed to drop by and meet us here. However, I'm not entirely sure how to figure out if he's already gotten here or not. I was hoping you could perhaps help us with, of course, just compensation. <clears throat> Yay. What what exactly are you offering? What exactly do you think is just? Oh, we could double the initial offer. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to say since I'm probably getting not only his information, but also his permission, I, I'll be willing to double our original arrangement. 4,000 credits. <laughs> you, you hear over the comms, ah, oh, you bounty hunters have so much money. I love it. <laughs> oh, I am no bounty hunter. I am just a lucrative businessman. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> so. To be clear, is this 4,000 additional or 2,000 additional from what we had? 4,000. This is, this is so a, 6, another 4,000, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> so, uh, what do you. So, uh, yes, I am your business partner here. Yes, well, uh,. He is a bit of a shy fellow, so I don't know what name he might have registered when he landed, but I know he is flying a Jumpmaster 3000. He may have come with a lady friend of his own. A Jumpmaster? Hmm. And so you hear some some clicking. Uh, we haven't had any Jumpmasters come in to the port. Do you register any other traffic they may just come to the planet itself? Yes, yes, let me put, put in that system. Ah, yes. A few hours back, there was a gem master that came into orbit. Uh, we don't track them after they come in, though. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess he might have tried and find a nice secluded spot to have uh, a sweet time with the missus. Anyway, thank you for your assistance. Do, do you know where they may have gone? Likely, likely destinations. Uh, well, if they didn't go to the uh, main spaceport, uh, they must have a private, uh, private place to land. Uh, that would not be common. Thank you. So wait, hmm, not be common. Are you saying that there are private landing zones, but they're only available for a select few? Well, if you have enough it money, <laughs> it wouldn't be for the common folk is what I'm suggesting. They definitely couldn't be down in the barrows. I can tell you that. Hmm. Um, I, I, um, Hank wouldn't know how to re uh, ask this question, so he would kind of whisper it to you. Oh, Hank's still here? Yeah, Hank would have wanted to, to stay with the con where the contact is. Don't say, like, Hank's still well, he's here? Not, he's not our contact. He's basically just an official we've bribed. Official contact. Okay. Uh, Hank would have um, probably like um, 
since we know that she's probably going to be going to some kind of holding cell or something like that, is there a, a private uh, base or a private spaceport that's near some kind of detention system? Detention I mean, system. Palace probably has some of those. One. Well, to expand the question, does the Imperial Garrison have its own private landing spaces? Thank you. I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to that. Well, I'd rather get it from our contact. I mean, our bribed official, who's probably nice and buttered up with the blood we're shoving in his too, throat. Honestly. <laughs> uh, based on the last trajectory, I don't think they went to the palace. Usually, I mean, this isn't an Imperial ship. What are you guys into? Like I said, I'm looking for a friend, but, you know, the Imperial's like picking up people in their dragnets. I don't know where he might have ended up. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Still out for... Ah, never mind. Uh, I think, uh, that's about all the information I have. Uh, I don't... It doesn't look like it would be the Imperial Palace, but if they're... That's about the only uh, holding place I do know. Fair enough. I thank you for your continued assistance, and I wire him the agreed-upon prize. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he would have wanted that up front, but... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, but, yeah, either so, way, I'm just making yeah. sure he says he gets it. It happened in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll always be here, and I will always be helpful. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. i just switch it off. <laughs> Rolling my eyes a bit. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, uh, funneling credits. Given... Given this information, uh, R2, do you think that, uh, do you think that you could get a visual or some sort of data on the descent trajectory of that ship? As it well, on top of, you know, looking at the flight pass, I was also thinking I could see about getting a list of, uh, all known private landing plots and then cross-referencing that with the trajectory to most likely l narrow down our list of you know possible areas. Yeah, Macron would have specifically asked you to get that list just by itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, wouldn't we have already gone? No, oh, well, like, yeah, that's, well, that's what I'm covering here. Science! So we have yeah, voices in little have. boxes that we go into our head. We have comms. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, he, he would have called. If you had left, Macron would have called R2 to specifically look up that information. All right, let's do this stuff. Okay, um, so the administration building is a pretty ordinary one. Um, you know, low-level bureaucrats... Um, the end, there's just one entrance that you can see, and it looks like it just leads to a little waiting room and a desk. Do you, do you go inside? Uh, I follow the organic meat bags. Well, at the moment, it's only... Yeah, who's, only who's, who yeah. went with, uh, with R2? It was Dara and... Goblin. And Goblin, okay. I thought Goblin was on the ship. Nope, Goblin came Oh, uh, I went with her too. Oh, oh, right, okay. We had comms open, so they heard it. He, uh, he heard slicing and was all like, let's do that. Okay, um, so you guys going inside? Um, yeah. Okay, um, so you enter, uh, you can see at the desk an older human woman, uh, is there just sort of shuffling papers in there. Uh, she looks at you, and there's a little bit of a look of disgust, uh, whenever she sees you. Can I help you? Um, yes, um, I'm, um, trying to find some local, um... Uh, Restaurants and the like, and obviously making a cover for um, R2 who can do whatever. Okay, um, R2. So what you guys see as you enter, you do see the desk, and then behind her, it's just really a, a hallway that sort of leads back into the the offices area. Um, restaurants. Why are you coming here for restaurants? Now I'm giving back to that voice. Restaurants. I can't do it. Uh, darling. Uh, restaurants. Uh, this is the Spaceport Authority. I don't know what you're doing here. If you want restaurants. 
I mean, I guess this would be a time to, I, like... I don't think that R2... Then go, needs, go hot stuff. I don't think that R2 precisely needs a distraction. He can just go to a public terminal and look up the information. Nah, maybe not. We're, we're, we're trying to get closer to the source. You, you'd probably be able to look up the information about the private estates, but not about any information regarding the Jumpmaster. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna do both of this. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back there, and I'm gonna hack a terminal. Uh, can you roll stealth? I can try. Uh, oh, so I'm gonna make that a hard check. And I'm gonna can you get a boost from Dara's distraction? Uh, sure. Can... A boost from from Dara talking to her. So. Okay. What is R 2s stealth? Yellow and a green, two green. Yeah, it's based on agility, so. <laughs> My agility's yeah. three. Did that flip for everyone? Uh. It yes. still looks like it's three Wait, of three. No, it didn't. There, now it's now it's right. Okay. So it's a red and, and uh, two purple. Is what you're saying? Is that what you were doing? I I would offer skilled assistance on that. If you want. I suppose. It seems I like the only person that could offer skilled assistance is. Dara for the distraction. Yeah. Hey, I'll take Dara's stealth instead of a boost if that's what we're doing here. I'm sure she's sneaky. She seems Does to that make sense, sense, GM? <laughs> yeah, Dara's got two ranks in stealth. No, she's not stealthing. She's she's providing the distraction, which is the boost. Okay, so then would a skilled assistance come from elsewhere then, possible? Um, if both Goblin or you, and you are stealthing, you can do that. I'm down with Goblin coming with me, the creepy little Batman. Okay, over your comms, <laughs> the other team tells you that they met with the rebel leader and are now trying to meet with the leader of a local resistance movement. Okay. We have done nothing. We haven't. <laughs> Lengthy deliberations do take time. Okay, well, let, let's, uh, let's speed this up then. So what would that... Or can, can we do skill assistance? And what if I can, what would it be? Uh, it wouldn't be skilled assistance. You both would be rolling the stealth, and you can combine your successes and negate failures. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, so it's so hard with an upgrade for both of you. I'll flip for both of you. Okay, so it's a red and two purple, yeah? Yeah, and then you both get a boost from Dara. And for the love of God, flip. Oh, well, I've heard. Okay, that's okay. enough. Yeah, Goblin, Goblin, is... Goblin, uh, like, does Goblin have, like, a cloak or anything? What does Doug, what does Goblin wear? I can, I can huddle behind him. <laughs> yeah, so Goblin somehow, uh, like, covers, like, sort of, like, masks the, the sound that R2 is making as he's, like, buzzing by. And so, uh, Dara and the, um,. The old old woman there just keep talking. Uh, she's a little annoyed by your questions. Like she's trying to figure out why you're actually here. Uh, and so, uh, but let's let's go into the back. So, on, along the hallway, you see a number of offices. Um, so uh, a few of them do have people in them, uh, but you can find an office that doesn't have anyone in it. Pick an empty one, I guess, and lock the door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, and so you, the rooms uh, are lockable, um, so if you go in there, you can lock that behind you. Um, and yeah, and, you've, uh, go ahead. Goblin will stay in by the door and listen for anything approaching. All right. Well, okay. I'm gonna do, I guess, my hacking bit. That'll be uh, that'll definitely involve my data breaker. Um, you remember what what I said I was looking for the like the trajectory of the jump master that we're looking for, and then like a list of plots to cross-reference it with? Yeah. Like, private yeah. landing zones? Okay. Um, okay, um, yeah. So the... Uh, so that's going to be hard with a, a native upgrade. And don't forget military as well. I could, yeah, I could throw military. So, uh, so it's a red and two purple? Yeah, red and two purple. Alright, I will upgrade because I think I need it. Don't fail me now! Boosh! Nail okay. it. Uh, so what do you, uh, you do uncover the last known whereabouts of that jump master that came in a few hours ago. Uh, you can see that it does correspond to what the administrator had said that, you know, they only track it for a certain amount of time, uh, before they, you know, pay their dues or whatever. And you can see that it is, it is heading for the, uh, more of the outskirts of town. Uh, whenever you look in their database, you query it for private landing spots, you see that 
there is no database for pu private landing spots. This is the public uh, space authority. They don't keep registered of any um, any private landing strips or any um, any uh, military landing strips. But surely this terminal um, is also connected to the public domain, and the public domain might have that. What does does it have uh, information on where that information might be stored? There is also another avenue that we we could check instead of just looking for private landing spots. I if will also they are, for that. Well, if they're privately owned, and that they're by the rich, it sounds like this planet's rich and powerful. Then we could probably just look them up and then find out, and then see who lives where, and we can try and cross-reference that with the data you did get about the trajectory. Yeah. Sounds good. So, I think you have all the data you'll be we'll probably be able to get out of that, so it's probably best for us to pull out and regroup. Or we could, like, make a warfare check to think to ourselves, if I were a rebel, if I were an imperial an imperial intelligence agency where would i put my base well who says that's where he's going yeah go ahead and yeah. make an average warfare, warfare check uh, all right um it would be the imperial palace <laughs> which we know he's not going and actually that kind of confuses you why didn't he go there Maybe well, the headship master say, isn't him. Well, he did say when he was leaving that he wasn't saying uh, his allegiance makes that clear. However, he seems to have more of an axe to grind against the rebels than standard imperial stuff. Like he said, we will pay for our crimes or something like that. Just yeah, shout I, can, uh, I will actually read that back so everyone can hear that since Macron can quote it. Um... Uh, there are many things that bre can break a man, but nothing more than the rebellion's disregard for innocent life. I'm going to have to take my leave now. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. It could, yeah. Uh, what if he's not an Imperial agent in and of itself, but he's just someone they've solicited? Or maybe he's just trying to defect to them and hasn't done anything. He could just be an Imperial sympathizer who's trying to garner favor and join them. All the above are possible, but it does it does seem to answer why he didn't go directly to the palace. Uh, then, yeah, I think our next move should be to look up movers and shakers and see if we can't cross-reference. Yep, okay. just tell um, me where I can find a list of that. Okay. And or anyone... Do we know where he's from at all? Um, he's from Ordordana. Okay, so maybe if he has family around here. Oh, he sh oh he lives here. Oh. Then I, yeah, I think that helps us target our search a bit more. We should probably look yeah, at the Eric family. All right, let's go. Maybe find his family. Yeah, I think a public terminal would probably have what we're looking for there. Yeah, whatever, whatever his family holds. If, if it's if the Narek family is here and they're rich and powerful, that probably is a matter of public. Okay, let's uh, let's vacate the premises before we get arrested. Okay, so <laughs> at this point, uh, the lady up front is like sort of like shouting at Dara, like I I don't know anything about restaurants. If you if you want to go to someplace nice, you go to Borgans, but none of you people will get in there. And so she's in such of a huff that uh, Goblin and R2 can roll past without her having a possibility. I feel like I should have sent her a virus while I was at it, you know? <laughs> she's only the, like, receptionist. I don't think what you did would hurt her that much. Crash her what, computer. What? No, we buy her hot water preference for her shower preference for cold water. Well, I don't understand why the spaceport would be able to affect that. Yeah. Um, maybe uh, maybe our target likes to eat at Borgans. We can head there. <laughs> oh, well, Macron's just keeping that in mind in case he ever gets hungry. Oh, Borgans. Okay, gotcha. All right, well, let's head to a public terminal then. Okay, yeah, they're out in the spaceport. Um, uh, do we want to meet up with the um, like me and Macron and Hank? Yeah, I'd say we all meet up, not maybe directly around that single terminal, but nearby. While yeah. one of us looks into How it. How about we meet up at Borrigans? <laughs> they apparently so won't let in. Oh my gosh. Why not meet up at a tap cafe? 
there are some convenient terminals right right near Morgan's <laughs> we can uh, we can use. Or how about a restaurant that's not racist? Maybe we just don't meet up at a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> it's a I mean, joke. We can just go back didn't, to the didn't need to go that far. Well, what's the point of going back to the sofa? Because that means we're just covering the same distance back and forth all the time. Why don't we go to a tap cafe and just take a table or separate tables? Well, then how are we going to get to the then, right, we'll, we'll just find a terminal and we'll all meet near it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, call, generic you, you call me each other. It's, it's, okay, you find a generic public terminal. All right. Uh, do I need to make any checks for this, or can we just uh, find the information? Um, you search Varneric or Neric family. Pulls up. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you need to make a check to see if you can a race. Okay, let's <laughs> dig a little deeper then. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make that three red. Three red. Holy. Okay. What? Nope, no, that's fine. Someone's been whitewashing. I will, uh, <laughs> I will upgrade it. Um, mm, don't forget to cover your tracks. Right, hold on, let me. Sniper program, defensive slicer, and technology to bypass security, code breaker. Nope. I would think that would bypass security. Uh, that that mostly just removes setbacks, I think, right? Uh, or is the I think. Wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, but I security. Code breaker is the one that reduces security or reduces difficulty, but I don't think this is code breaker. I mean, if it's code breaker, I'll take it. I think he's asking for a GM ruling here. Yeah, uh, no, not none of those apply. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, Alonzi. Oh, Ooh. I'm gonna use natural programmer. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Still so early too. I know, right? R2 is just using all of his rerolls right off the bat. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, you get into the system, um, which is just the public information system, and you're querying Narek, the name Narek, as far as you can, and you land on a news agency website. And what you find is a reference to a the Nar uh, the Narek family. Um, it's sort of just like a, a space holder for a Narek family article. Um, and you can see that the article itself was deleted, um, and removed from the net. Uh, you can see, uh, that this was actually done by a slicer, and based on the technique that you observe, um, that you can actually pick up remnants, someone that didn't actually cover their tracks, um, as well as you, you think you could have. Um, it was, th this reeks of an Imperial, having wiped the data, um. Something you guys, you guys recall is that Narek himself was not a particularly good slicer, um, but um, someone who was able to get into this network and do it themselves um, did have some skill, even if they didn't cover their tracks completely. I need to cannibalize a droid to hack into anything. Um, can Dara say to R2, if he's chirping, um, can you follow a trail? to see if you can actually locate um, a hard copy of that data. Um, That's actually a pretty good idea. Uh, I also, just to double check, when the receptionist recommended Borgans, did she make it, she already made it sound like a racist place, but did she make it sound like, you know, a moving and shaking place? Yeah, um, and actually you can look it up easily. Uh, Borgans is the highest scale restaurant in town. Oh, okay. I it's think like Macron may want to have a nice uh, late dinner there. Maybe wow. rub some shoulders and find out maybe if they remember anything about the Narek family. As the only other human, maybe. I think I'm the only other human here, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, as the only other human droid in there, too, yeah. <laughs> they don't oh, serve <laughs> We don't serve their kind here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Maybe Aiden will go with Macron. Uh, it's kind of like Actually, a they shit. happen to serve the best oil in town. <laughs> uh, either way, uh, the rest of you should stay out here and probably look for another way to get more information on that story. Unless you think Aiden would be more useful asking around for information or something. Uh, you could be a good wingman. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, uh, yeah, you, so. you take you take your new husband. Um, and it's not um, like uncommon for the wealthy to have their droids with them. I guess I'll say. And I think R2 slicing uh, would be more useful. I think an R2 unit would be pretty uncommon, though. 
Yeah. Well, uh, I, you know, either either or, I think he's better off here slicing into maybe physical archive security or something. I don't, I don't think he'd be much help at a restaurant, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you really want me to just, like, <laughs> I don't know, oh. get you a free meal. Yeah, Actually, unless we can bounce a tray on his head and he can sneak into... No more, no more, no more tray jokes. I am. Connection. Last to time we had to do something like that. I'm Place to the heads oh. of the bigots. So Tommy says he's been experiencing some problems with Roll Twenty. Um, I, you get a I just saw a message. Yeah, yeah so same here. It should what? be okay. It usually comes and goes, but uh, if there's a problem, we can we can deal with it as it comes. Yeah, it, it just came, it just went away. So okay. I didn't it. see any problem. I just no message a powers. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. Well, um. I'll do what the uh, what the meat bags say. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, what you well, would know is that physical copies of like a, an article that was published in a paper, that's pretty rare. I mean, you would probably Star need Wars. to go to an archive. I mean, I, Let's I, go find I, 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 I can save it. I can have a, a copy saved in my, my databank here. Hold up. This file that he found was like Nera family redacted or whatever was on a newspaper, a news site? Yes. Yeah. And oh, so what you, what, you really find, what you really find is a reference to a file that was deleted, basically. And were well, we able to get to that file or find out where that file is stored? No, the file is gone. What you find is but, a reference to it. So but you, you, know, you, thing that you click we do it have... and it's like file not found. Ah. So, But you could go to the news place and maybe figure out what that article was from the source. Yeah. That like if that news place covered something in relation to the Nara family, you could probably just go there and ask them what it was. Yeah, we might we might require someone to do some talky bits, and I I not droid well with that. <laughs> uh, perhaps Aiden, that means I should go to the to Borgans alone. You can help uh, them out. Yeah, that might be good. Oh man, Pl- splitting the party. Okay. <laughs> yep. I can have fun. I can have okay. a one man party. Yeah, you know, Macron's more the, the more high class person here anyway. You know, he's 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 oh, used man. to the Roman elbows. <laughs> I should go change into my noble regalia. Man, yeah. <laughs> these outer rim blobs aren't good enough. You have your tailored jacket. That'll be good, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and it's just Macron that's going to Borgans. Yes. Uh, I like the way he asks. Why that. are you going to <laughs> Borgans, by the way? Because high class people would probably remember the Nerex. Uh, but what kind of family is the Nerex? It could be a family of commoners. If we they're don't rich know. enough. Uh, sounds like they're at least somewhat noteworthy. They have their own news article, and Nerex is going somewhere. I'm it going could have everything. been like Ner- It could have been the news article. Could have been Nerex family killed in terrorist rebel bombing. Well, then I guess I'll quickly find out whether or not he's going to a Narek estate or not. If there are nobodies, uh, then they're not going to know. Um, if they were supposedly killed by rebels, then why did the Imperials redact it? No, no, no. That was that was uh, just a hastily drawn-up example that had absolutely no realism or bearing. And we don't even know her. Oh, wait. Did we find out if it was actually an Imperial redaction or not? Um, so, based on the advantage that R2 got on it, he thinks it was a re- uh, uh, Imperial slicer that did it. Yeah, like... Just, just his knowledge of the techniques that they they tend to use. Um, and, you know, they the, the way they tend to cover their trail is pretty obvious to him. You mean poorly. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> way they attempt, they attempt to cover their trail. <laughs> Yeah. Well, this raises questions, but I still want to pursue the Borgans option. Okay. Well, so, who else would be controlling information so, you know, like, ridiculous as that? Oh, dear. <laughs> this is a high-class place? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, they seem to have cannibalized R2 units for the stools. Yeah. No! No! <laughs> okay, so... Brothers! Um, the elaborate columns outside of this restaurant and club give it an air of superiority over the surrounding buildings. Simply looking at the building, one gets a sense of old money and prestigious backgrounds. This is no average cantina for the common man. Impeccably dressed doormen scrutinize the credentials of all who approach, as this establishment wishes to maintain a reputation of allowing only the most desirable through its doors. Okay, so oh, they're gonna love me. Okay, so what? Uh, you've got your tailored jacket on, right? 
Yes. Okay. So uh, the um, the guards at the front actually do open the door for you. Ah, you perfect. Uh, I straighten my cuffs. <laughs> okay. So a, a concierge greets you as you enter. Um, so you don't have a danger rating, right? Or what do you have on you? Uh, I had Lair on me. Uh, so that's actually one. Yeah. I okay, have so Meister too, but it's actually just plus two modifier. Okay, so you do have a sword at your side, and then Lair is a... Force Pike. <laughs> a Force Pike? So you're walking around with a Force Pike? Well, uh, especially in this town. Yeah, okay. Um, so you see him kind of eye the Force Pike for a second, and you do notice another guard uh, is close by, uh, you know, appearing from around the corner. Uh, I'll, I'll meet his gaze, and I say, I know, it's such a garish thing to bring into a place like this, but I didn't trust the outside world. If you want me to leave it with someone, I'd be happy to oblige. Uh, so he gives out a little sigh, almost of relief. Um, can you give me uh, an average deception check upgraded once? That sounded more like charm uh, to me. With, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lie, though. So with two boosts. Oh, right. I was actually willing to hand yeah. over Lair as long as I got it back on the way out. Yeah, it didn't sound that much like a lie. He might be afraid of the outside world. <laughs> well, my, you, you want me to justify my reasoning? Okay, fair yes, enough. Yes. Well, he is afraid of the oh, outside world. Yeah. You have two boosts as well from the, the, the oh. reason you gave. Okay, um, so he says, Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course, it's horrendous out there. Um, oh, we do have a storage area for all of your items. Um, a minimum. May, may we ask who is joining us this evening? Oh, Severus Atrim, at your service. No, no, I wouldn't say that to the concierge. I, I, I nod and say Severus Atrim, a uh, mogul within the interim in Fallenite trade. Ah, such a delight to have you here at Vorgans. Yes, I hear your establishment is the best on the planet. It certainly is. Okay, um, so... Uh, you have displayed the proper etiquette, so he is going to welcome you in. He says that the, um, um, uh, so he, he sort of starts talking about the, uh, the stuff on the, uh, what's on the menu tonight. And of course you see that this is not only a restaurant, but also a, a club area as well. And so you see finely dressed people all around. Uh, the guard does take your, your pike, um, Will you offer the sword as well? No. If, if he asks about that, I will say that it is a family heirloom that I simply cannot part with. But to be certain that it will do no good against such fine guards. <laughs> okay. Um, so it is a family heirloom. So I'm going to... But the, the part about it not being good against the guards is a bit of a lie. So go ahead and make that deception check again. You don't have the boosts. All right. Uh, I'm going to flip. Okay. Uh, oh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, you wouldn't be the first. <laughs> uh, the Imperials always seem to want to carry their weapons. Yes, if only they had the sense of style that we of the higher class do, and I just stroke the fine, elegant handle of Meister. <laughs> okay. So, um, he begins to, uh, talk about the menu of the evening and everything like that as the, as they lead you to your table. Um, so, um, as you sit down at the table, I want you to make a perception check. I'm gonna make that hard, uh, with a setback and an upgrade. Alright, I think my perception has gotten a couple of ranks recently. Uh, nope, that's too far down. Yes, it has. I'm going to flip as well. Ah. Um, hmm. Okay, so you don't notice that in particular. But, what's something advantageous that you would like to see here? I want to find a gossip. Oh, yes. You find uh, a very chatty lady. Um, she's got a cocktail, and you actually see her setting down a cocktail as another one is brought by for her, and she's just uh, drinking them up. It's um, 
she seems to have uh, a suitor or two around her, and she's she's gabbing up the room. Ah, perfect. I, I grab a cocktail of my own and approach. <clears throat> well, hello there. I haven't seen you around here. Oh, I'm a visitor to Ordredama. I'm looking into your uh, mit, uh, mineral exports. Oh, uh, Atrim... oh, interesting. Yes, I, I extend my head and say, I'm Atrim, though like trader at your service. Uh, she she gives you her hand and says, Charmed. And, uh, I am, a. Uh... And then the two suitors are still there, probably yeah, get annoyed yeah. at my sudden appearance. Yeah, the two suitors are there, and she, um, she, um, introduces herself as, uh, Sistress, um, uh, Fallor. Perfect. Uh, I actually, before I do anything else with her, I want to use my improved plausible deniability. Uh, to make a hard course and trick to try and just scare off the suitors. I kind of want to look just as posh and classy as I can to just intimidate them into like, we don't have a chance against this guy. Okay, and that's a set difficulty? Yes, it's okay. hard coercion. Got it. Go ahead for it. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and, in fact, this seems like such an important scenario, I'm also going to flip to activate on match expertise. Uh, that takes it down to an easy check, and my coercion is... lovely. Oh my god, really? <clears throat> okay, um... Uh, so they don't have to leave, but... Yeah, they don't leave, um... But that is a lot of advantage. Um... Maybe only one of them leaves. You know what? I want them to... I want... They, they, they're not intimidated enough to leave, but they're intimidated enough that it's like they need to build up their courage so they order more drinks. I was going to say you like a drink or something. You, um... So having gone down into the bar, you're looking around. Um, you notice that there were a lot of cameras outside of the establishment. Uh, but now that you're inside, the cameras disappear... However, as you're intimidating these these young men, you look, you glance at a chandelier uh, just briefly, and notice what seems to be a listening device. Oh, lovely. One form of security for another more subtle form. Elegant. <clears throat> uh... Well, there's music playing. Is there perhaps a DJ? Uh, not that you can see. Um, hmm. Not in this area. What, what's, your, what's your idea? I wanted to see if I couldn't at least drown out the conversation I'm going to have with this gossip. Either by upping the music or doing something else. Uh, by charming her, you might be able to pull her into a back room. That's a lovely suggestion. Yes, I, I will... I will... You know, get a bit closer to her, flash a smile, and say, Ah, oh, I'm so... I'm s much more of a fan of more private conversations. Perhaps we should take our... We should take our leave to a more private room. Uh, and what's what's the uh, name? Can you type it out that you're going by right now? Uh, I actually already forgot his last name, so I'm going to just suck that in with this. Oh, that's supposed to be an atrim with an M, not an N. So that, that was actually the one you did the first time. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the Mr. will of the force. Mr. Severus. Oh, I, I don't know. Um, and so she is obviously accustomed to charm. Um, it's going to be uh, daunting with two upgrades. Okay, so it's just going to be two red with my unmatched expertise. Uh, three yellow. Uh, I'm going to flip. Make that four yellow. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> uh, so she she giggles a little under her breath and then extends her hand for you to take it. Uh, the two guys around here are like they just glare at you as you pass. <laughs> and so it's... you time yourselves and you're actually able to slip uh, into a uh, back room, actually a part of the 
you know, part of where the servants are supposed to be going in and out of, not your, not your, your fare. Uh, now that I know that there's at least a uh, listening device, I'm go- Ma- Macron's going to try and look to see if there's another in here. Okay. Um, perception check. Uh, the one I gave you earlier. Um, one red, two purple, one setback. One red, two purple, and a setback. Uh, my unmatched expert. Uh, I have to make sure this is a class skill. And it is. All right. So that just turns into one red, and I can get rid of the setback as well. Oh, you you triggered unmatched expert. Oh, you did. Okay. You, yeah, okay. I did. Okay. Um, uh, at, right before I ruled for that <laughs> intimidation, that for somehow flopped. Oh. <laughs> uh, you notice. Uh, there doesn't seem to be up here anything in this back room. Um, in the back room, um, hmm. Let's see, straight successes. You are fairly confident that this area is not bugged. In fact, the the sound resonance is such that you don't think the listening devices in the other rooms would be able to pick up what you can talk about here. Perfect. So I I, I let that relief form another smile on my face, and I look at her and I just say, "Oh, my." My dear Citrus, you look like a woman who's seen much more than what's on Orbodama's dark surface. <laughs> I, I know about many things, Mr. Severus. I'm sure you know the names of every person who can ever have a claim to fame on this world. Uh, she laughs at that and says, <laughs> Yes, of course. Yes. How? Why don't you? Uh, don't want to lead her on a bit too much. I would uh, flash uh, my eyes a bit and say, "But you, 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 you must know some good juicy stories." I, I, I must admit, as a trader, it would help me a lot in my further endeavors if I know the dark secrets of a few of these movers and shakers. <clears throat> And I would be most grateful if you could help me out there. <clears throat> and what sort of deep, dark secret are you interested in? Well, we all have our skeletons in the closet. It would certainly catch someone off guard if I were to suddenly reveal that I knew what little secret they could be hiding from most people. Okay, uh, so she's gonna need some direction here. Um, she, uh, some something precise. Okay, so you're, what are your? Um, uh, I'll I'll go with this. I in the inner rim, I'm just accustomed to the higher class undercutting themselves and such subtle tactics. I figure out here in the more frontier spaces, there are much more violent manners that people resort to to undercut the competition. Perhaps you've known of anyone who has suffered or perhaps dealt such a blow? Um, so uh, the smile on her face sort of collapses for a second. Well, it wasn't due to business. It was those damned rebels. They... They killed the Narek family. It was... They... (laughs) It was a, an explosion, and all that was left was the poor son. Such brutality! This is why we welcome the Imperials. They protect us from those those rebels, those terrorists. Wait, were the Imperials already here when the Narek family suffered this fate? Or did they come after? Oh no, the, the, the Imperials were here, but the rebellion, they still still caused the explosion. It was all over the news at the time, although no one seems to want to talk about it these days. I wonder why. Oh. And I lean in and I put an arm around her. I put, yeah, I lean in and give her a kiss on the cheek. Try and calm her a bit. <clears throat> uh, she appreciates it. She she gives a, a little tear. Uh, she she starts crying. The Nerics were such a proud family. They they still have an estate, I believe, although their son has been gone for some years. I never learned what happened to him. Oh. This estate must... Oh, 
Uh, hopefully someone has given the Nerex to reverence in maintaining it. <clears throat> well, I, I don't know quite about that. I, I do keep up on a lot of news, but whenever such tragedy strikes, I, uh, I, I don't know. Oh, well, I must do my part in the, ha in the behalf of such a proud family. Tell me, is there any way I might be able to find the estate, maybe find the son? Oh, Nerek, <laughs> Var has been gone for some time. I'm, I doubt you'll find him, but the estate um, is on the outskirts of the city, of course, where most of the wealthy estates are. So I don't suppose she's able to give me coordinates. Uh, just not precisely, me. but um, you get the feeling that you've got enough information to... Um, hmm. Well, actually, give me one second. No, you may as well take one for the team, Macron. You may as well go and sleep with her. I don't. I didn't have to sleep with you when I was trying to justify your part of my croat camaraderie, did I? I'll treat this woman sweetly, but uh, I think Macron shall maintain the sanctity of the bedroom. <laughs> This was fun. Macron doesn't get to shake, get to get up in high society lately. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, can you give me a, uh, another charm check? Sure. Uh, uh, with the same two purple, two red difficulty? Uh, yes. With, because I flipped, um, you'll have two boosts from the interaction you've had with her so far, though. Okay, two boosts and you flipped, and I'm still using on my expertise to make that just the two red. And I'm also going to flip for my charm. Oh, hold on. No, I'm going to activate Natural Charmer. Oh, <laughs> shit. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think so, the first one was actually better. <laughs> I, um, I can't pick, though. <laughs> That's the problem with that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so... Um, you, uh, you smile at her and ask her if she recalls anything more precise about the... Uh, location of the estate, and as she is about to speak, uh, you see a weak way turn the corner, and she shrieks. Uh, you're a little taken aback by this because uh, you wouldn't expect to see that kind of species here, uh, uh, and so he seems to be a little surprised by this as well. And and you just hear in the back, this is. This is a private area. You're not. You're not supposed to be back here. I just. I, I flash upon and say, "Can't. Can't a man take a woman into a nice secluded spot? Get. Get back to the other place." Oh, I, I, is she still there? Or is she run off? Uh, she shrieked and start uh, and grabbed your arms and is it is holding herself to you. Yeah, I, I would guide us back into the main area. Uh, you see the weak egg kind of snort, um, and so you, you lead back to the main area. Um, as you... I want you to make a... Um, what do I have this at? I want you to make a hard underworld check. Ooh, now this just got interesting. Uh, let me just double check something. Oh, uh, would you let me have a swan song for my magic expertise here, since I feel like this encounter is yes, ending? Yes, it's still coming. Okay, yeah. so that is activated, because that is actually a career skill of mine. Uh, that makes it the one purple, and I'm going to flip. Oh, now you roll well. <laughs> <laughs> um, you think back to the device you saw. You saw a glimpse of it, but now that you've had time to roll it around in your mind, and then the presence of the weak way. You think this facility is run by the huts. You're not exactly which, sure which hut, but this seems to be a front for something that the huts are running. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. 
Becker knows I that feel like well. I want to do something. I uh, know. I guess there wouldn't be a narrative explanation for it since I just figured this out. So he wouldn't have it on him. I want to go grab the artist disc. But I know, I, I mean, I, I feel like, I know, because I just figured this out, I can't really narrative slay, oh, I just happened to have the art. You could my, flip to say you happen to have it. Would you allow that, Brandon? I know it's kind of out there. Uh, but the problem is, I feel like I, Macron would then just go and get the disc and yeah, then come back. I think that's fair. Um, so yes, yes, you, you can flip to have the artist disc on you. All right. Uh, then I'm going to give Citrus one final kiss and say, thank you, my dear. This has been... Our time together was short, but oh my, how I wish it shall be longer. And I actually give her, I don't want to give her my real number, but I don't want to be a dick and give her some like pizza place. Uh, you know what? I give her my real number, but it's more of a personal comm, so it can't exactly be tracked. Okay, so it's not one of the broker's comm numbers, basically. Yeah. So, Alvin, will I see you again? May our pa I I hope the fates bring us together. But I, such a businessman. If only the uh, 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 shit. I'm trying to say, if only the tides of business shall bring us together forever. But I must go where my pro I must go with the profit, or else I become a pauper. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so with tears in her eyes, she, she lets you go. I actually go back to the weak way, who I assume probably hasn't gone far since we've just recently No, it, it's more, he's actually probably standing at the door. Okay, I, I go back up to him, and I look a bit perturbed, and I just say, you really know how to ruin an evening. Take me to your master. <clears throat> Uh, so he's a bit confused by that. Um, give me one second, tell me, just sent me something. Archie wasn't there, he wouldn't have literally puked on the floor. Okay, um... Can R2 even puke? <laughs> Probably just... I, I, I can boil all, all over the place. Okay, um, are you sure you don't want to call anyone? Yeah, I'm just gonna say that I, I do think that we're running low on time. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll just... Would, how about I flip that back and we just I'll, I'll take the information I've already gotten and run. Yeah, I what? I think that and now in the meantime we... the other people are doing what? Uh, you guys were gonna try to go to the news agency to learn more about the the story, but. Uh, yeah, I, I'll I'll say perhaps at least in between after I part from her and go talk to the weekly, I would tell them that the Nerics were notable people on the planet and they were allegedly blown up by a rebel bomb and you found and you figured out where their villa was because that's probably where var is right now well he got a rough uh, guesstimate i know it exists and it's on the outskirts of the city yeah I, mean, I could probably find it but i also kind of get the idea that maybe the truth could be at this news place and we kind of need to find that so let's go do that yeah all right if not the truth then at least clues towards it Um, right. Okay, so you're you're not. Uh... However, I'll say this: after we received that information update from, uh, what what was the guy's name again? Macron. Macron. After we received the news update from Macron, I'm going to ask Dara if I can borrow her uh, macro binoculars, and uh, I'm going to want to try and stake out the place now that we have an actual location. Um, we, don't have an we, we, we don't have an actual location. All oh, we got right. is outskirts. Right now, it's the equivalent of saying they are outside of New York. 
Go find I guess their we house. should also at least relay that much information to the resistance team in case they might be able to happen upon it. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Now let's let's go see about getting the uh, you know the news. Goblin will ask though if R2 can just like find this because it probably shouldn't take too long to search something like that and Goblin feels that sticking out that place as soon as possible would be beneficial. Probably already there. He is already there. It's obvious he's landed. Um, so Macron is, is not going to do the Ardos disc? Uh, I, I'm a bit torn. I guess now that they that I've given them my information that they can act on Go for it. Think, yeah, I will Go for do it. that. Because there's something I probably can get out of this hut that can help us that's not just information. But for now, let's you guys go ahead and see if you can't get more. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll go to uh, the news team. So we don't have a, an actual location for the um, the the news station. The um, no the, uh, the the estate the, the estate like uh, so you can't really go anywhere to stake that out yet. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you pull up. It's the evening. The new the, the news uh, the the paper is um, closed to the public at the moment. That's never there... stopped out, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is there people in there? Uh, yeah, you know, there, there would probably be writers that are still still in there working. I, I would probably, like, beep at uh, Dare, like, tell them we're, like, maintenance or something. Cleaning crew or something unassuming and non-threatening. Wouldn't it be wise to, um... Not be safe. If, mm, yeah. Oh, if if we're going to be breaking into this place, how about instead of that, we can we look up? I guess we have no way of knowing who wrote that, so we'd have to break in. Yeah. Uh, quick question: What time of day is it on the planet? That is a good question. It's the evening. Ah. Can we find maybe a rear entrance if we're going to be breaking into this? Uh, yeah, you can locate a rear entrance. You know, just yeah. so we're less conspicuous about it instead of just walking up to the front door and <laughs> and picking it open. Yeah, let's go to a, the, the, the back server's entrance or something, whatever they got here. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And can we get inside and find any sort of terminal that's connected to their main hub system? Okay. Uh, a hard Skullduggery mechanics check to get into the door. There is, It's not electronic, and I'm upgrading that, so... Well, that wait, me mechanics? Looking. Mechanics or Skullduggery. Okay, um... I could probably handle... I don't know what everybody's Skullduggery is, but my mechanic is pretty awesome. My Skullduggery is just my cunning, which is only three, so... Yeah. I have a pretty good Skullduggery, but it's probably not as good as your mechanics. Yeah. Hank, um, Hank was it with Bypass? Well, okay, I don't... I don't think Bypass Security is going to do anything because there's no setbacks. So. What'd you say, Leslie? Right. Hank is going to be, um... A ways. Now he's not gonna be with y'all, but a ways, kind of maybe just fighting things out. Just actually, actually looking at it, uh, hold on a second. I actually have lock picking tools. Fine, you go for it. Yeah, then we'll step back with Hank. Okay, so Hank. Uh, so we just have Goblin Aiden and R two going in. Sure. All okay. right. Um, so the lock picking tools will give you a boost. Um, so that means that so the pool is still hard with an upgrade. Skull degree. Right. Um, does anyone want to give me like unskilled assistance? I mean, what's your, is, what's is, your dice pool, is your dice pool still gonna be like better than four yellow and a boost? Yeah. No, that's not. <laughs> All right, I'll just mechanics. It is. <laughs> Get some uh, unskilled assistance from Aiden, I guess, or right, Goblin. I guess. or I Goblin 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 Goblin. maybe yeah. you could say that while I'm hacking into this, you're picking a little bit, and it gives me like a boost. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. 
So one no, of the no, two no, will trade. No, there's no ability to hack. I don't know what you're. I mean, okay. I mean, mechanic. I'm like, I, I say hack into it. I mean, no, it quite. No, you can't. You can't do that. So there's. You have to choose one or the other. Okay. Well, either way, I didn't well, get anything on my boat. He's using mechanics. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm using so mechanics. So you're not gonna do the skull dug recheck then? No. No. Okay. Um, you open it. Alarms start going off. Well, shit. Are there any cameras nearby? No, but that. Well, uh, can, uh, can, can, can we determine? Yeah. Do we want? You cut out. Run. Oh, I said, do we want to continue along this path, or do we want to run? Um, uh, I get it. If, if, at this point, if we go inside, you can probably disable the alarm. Okay, then I will go do that. Nobody will probably think much of the. Uh, the astromech. Can we make like a knowledge check to see like what the reaction would standardly be if the alarm went off and then immediately went off? Uh, e hmm, that would give you a sense of. Um, you would think that um, the uh, patrols would be alerted, which would be I can go in stormtroopers. Oh, stormtroopers! Um, Instead of. So since there's copied a map, is there like a power grid or something for this area on it? Uh, the map you would have found wouldn't have given you that kind of information. Um, I'll just I'll go in and find the nearest terminal and just shut the alarm off real quick. Um, there's not uh, a security terminal nearby, and I mean the the, the alarm has been triggered. So. Mm. Do you want to just press on? Or uh, no, that sounds like suicide. Dara will turn to Hank, sorry, Hank, and say, uh, shall we try the front door, knock, and uh, call these I mean, guys? The alarm is going off right now. <laughs> yeah, the back door. You, guys, you guys can see it. Uh, the, you guys are back. Yeah, the, I mean, so uh, alarms for the building are going off, basically. I have an idea. Well, they're Our going out. We can I, go I, in. I have an idea. I'll go in, hide in, like, some crates or boxes or whatever. Like in the room or something. Oh, once they like turn off the alarm and declare it false alarm or something, then. Yeah, and then I'll just go about my day. If they ask me anything, I've already got the perfect lie. Beep okay. boop. Um. Yeah. Um. So the alarm <laughs> right. uh, is ringing. Um. You see, there's a there's a voice. Well, I'm of, getting out uh, of here. Shelter in in place. Shelter in place. Imperial con controls are on their way. Shelter in place? Take cover in the building you're in. Oh. So, I mean, that's just what the alarm is telling the people inside to do, basically. Because it thinks there's a break in. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, so uh, who's, who's hiding inside of the building? R2. R2 and anyone else? Uh, Aiden will stealth and hide somewhere, whether it's inside or outside. And whether, I'll go with the group's decision on that. Okay. Um. Uh, so well, the, the area you've broken into is basically the the printing area uh, for mm -hmm. the the physical copies, I guess, of the the newspaper. Because this place is a little older, you know. They they still produce the uh, some physical papers for the uh, location. So there's a lot of machinery around. Um, a droid might be able to blend in pretty easily. Um, so you'll get a boost on your your stealth uh, for that. Uh, are you going to be in separate locations, or are you going to try to work together to stealth? What was the question? Sorry. Are you going to be together, uh, trying to find a good location to hide, or are you going to separate? Uh, it, it, probably separate, because I mean, Arthur could probably kind of mask himself as like a broken down droid in the corner if he mm -hmm. wants to. He kind of, yeah. If not power down, go into like low power mode and. Yeah, I could do something like that, uh, or even yeah. just be like, they <laughs> were here, I hid, and they went that away. Well, you'd be beeping at them, yeah, so you'd have to like, hopefully understand you, but yeah. <laughs> you can say if they understand binary. <laughs> okay, um, so what Dara and uh, Hank see from the front is that uh, a patrol of Imperial Stormtroopers do are running towards the location, um, and they come in through the front door. And it That's looks it. Like, uh, the alarm cuts off, and it looks like they're doing a search pattern, uh, from what you can tell. You're doing a search pattern, um... In or around? In, inside. Well, oh, well, 
Um, so let's go ahead and roll stealth. Uh, R2 will have two boosts because he can blend in with the machinery. Um, but it's going to be uh, hard with uh, an upgrade for both of you. So what you see is just, you know, stormtroopers, they have the lights on their helmets lit up. They've got their rifles out. It looks like they're scanning the area. Okay. I think I'm going to flip to upgrade for myself. <clears throat> it's, it's worth doing. <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, well, um, obviously the uh, um, stormtroopers are uh, going in through the front. We may as well um, do a standard comm saying... Yeah, and you'll uh, tell them how many. That was not a good roll. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, so R two, uh, you know you you know you just disable all your blinky lights and just like freeze in place. They walk right past R two. Um, but as uh, as Aiden shuffles around a bit, a box falls next to you. They all turn around and point their guns, their guns right at you. <clears throat> All right, they all get little quest exclamation points over their heads. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, we're we're closed. <clears throat> I'm I'm sorry. I, I, uh, you know, I must have uh, wandered in, gotten lost. I, uh, <laughs> you know, I, uh, <laughs> I was just looking for somewhere to sleep. I, I'm like, look, I look all kind of buff my clothes a little bit, look a little raggedy and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay. Uh, the only thing is. Uh, they, they tell you, get down on the floor. Hands behind your back. You're coming with us. Surprise part two of the mission, breaking Aiden out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise part three of the mission, breaking <laughs> Jaden to rot. Ooh. Alright, so I guess I'll just do what they say. I mean, how many of them are there? Um, it, three, it looks like. Only three? Yeah. I think the rest of us could take them. <laughs> but, uh... But would you be able to take them out before or after no. the call for backup? Uh, does, does R2 have a comm jammer? Would, would like, yeah. Chance? I you should have. I really don't think so. <laughs> Let me look. I was going to say, if we didn't know how many were going in... Yeah, I mean, we, take, all, right? we, we, we could have taken them from behind. Okay, you can uh, still follow them in. Um, Hank will look at um, Dora and be like, um, he's, he's not going to do anything. Uh, yeah. Shall we take them? Um, again, Hank will look at you like, he's not, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, yeah. come on, it'll be fun. Yeah, it's not likely that uh, R2 has a con jammer. Those things have like an encumbrance of four. <laughs> <laughs> And besides, yeah, it's so sad. Well, what are you, you going to do tonight except for um, prop up that lamppost? Say it again? What are you going to do tonight except for prop up that lamppost? Wouldn't it be nice just to knock some Imperials down? Well, I mean, our, our mission was to look for somebody. I mean, I know people want to, you know, just be, you know, Inspector Gadget all of a sudden, but... <clears throat> well, we're trying to find this guy. We don't know yeah, where he so is. I'll just let them handle I mean, since they know... Who's Mr. Inspector Gadget? Oh, <laughs> well, we do have a lead into where he is, which is the we old just, Eric family. Just, yeah, okay. we just need to get the information. So, yeah, we just should have followed that lead, but, you know... Well, the only what, lead we have is, is, in, is, is in that outside is in that town. Building. There's the only lead we have is inside that building, which will tell us where we need to go. Yeah, the, the, I don't really think okay, there's, there's, there's a lead in there. There is nothing for us in this building. I mean, I mean, it's you know, it's we're a newspaper. I mean, we, we could probably, you know, probably get more information about the story, but maybe not where they live. So um, yeah, like so. what we need the information is exactly where they will have the address. Say it again, because we got so many people talking. Uh, regardless, well, they... getting arrested probably wouldn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is that uh, the information we need is the location of the old Narek family household. I and I seriously do not... They're all having a conversation, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Right. 
the information is in that building. We've just had three stormtroopers go in. Now, so, why, if my why calculations. Why does Dara think the information's in that building? Well, the information is the location of the building plus the redacted information that the Imperials got rid of. Um, there's no reason to believe that the story included Narek's. Uh, the explosion that uh, that uh, Macron learned about was in public, it wasn't at their estate. Yeah, like, there is absolutely no that. reason to believe that we would get the information we need from this building, which is why it, it was against is coming worth, here to begin with. Uh, I agree that uh, going three, in there to that. get the information about their manor uh, is probably not the best idea. However, they would, it's that information, information would probably conclusively prove that the rebels weren't we're behind the death of the Narek family, and as we probably guessed, the Empire was. Like, all, the, all we have at the moment is suspicion, and if we throw that at Narek, he, he might not believe it. But if we were able to get the true story out of this place, that might be enough to get him back on our side and before even, he even gets over Tenna. Even if the story isn't here, we could at least find out who wrote the article and track them down. Yeah, I suppose. But anyway, how are we going to deal with the whole being arrested Hang problem? Can, can I just finish this conversation with um, Pat? All right. We need, to get, we, need, we need to get the hard copy as proof that the rebels didn't do this attack. And the stormtroopers going in now complicates this matter, which means the only way we can do it is forcefully. I mean, I'm, I'm all for rescuing um, the, the droid and, and the... Um, Maiden. Aiden, you know, if they come out and somehow they come out and they're arrested, but you know, if we, if they somehow come out with the information, then that's a plus plus. But yeah, but if they don't, if, if, if one comes out arrested, then the other then we're in shit street. Excuse my French, but um, I mean, we'll just have to just do some negotiation, aggressive negotiation, or something like that. Aggressive negotiation? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go in and do some ne aggressive negotiation right now. Uh, let's, well, let's see what happens, because, I mean, roping wise we don't know if they're really being captured or not. We're still out there. Gods, I am drowning in testosterone. I think testosterone is what you want. <laughs> it's what Daryl wants. <laughs> Okay, um, so uh, Aiden, uh, you get bindered, and the patrol picks you up, and they start leading you out the front. And so uh, Dara and Hank can see out of the front. Has uh, Goblin rejoined them at the front? Yes, he has. So, you so see Hank Aiden looks over at them and, and kind of motions like, any time, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dara, um winks at Hank and shouts right at the top of her voice. So, so how many stormtroopers are there? There's three. G GM, how many stormtroopers are there? Are three. There are three. Alright, well, seems like we're about to have a party. Uh, what range are we at? Um, how close of really would, it, would, you, would you have been to the building? I think I probably would have been at... We'd be across the street. I would yeah. Been so across the street would probably be medium. Okay. Right, so is there any way that I could walk? I mean, yeah, they're putting him in some kind no, of just, just, No, it walk. looks like they're just guiding him along the street. They may have a speeder somewhere, but it looks like they're just on foot at the moment. <clears throat> okay. Um, hmm. So I guess we're doing this. So I guess. Um, Hank would try to get to them as quickly as possible before he would go into action. Unless Dara has something else. Oh, she's just gonna trans. Oh, she's just said no offense and shouted the R word. The R word? <laughs> There's lots of R words. <laughs> I think I can guess it. Rebels, I yes, think. Yes, Rebels, yeah. Rebels. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, well, so whatever, whatever Dara shouts, uh, all the stormtroopers turn and look in your direction. Uh, or not all the rebels, all the imperials, all the stormtroopers. Point. 
again. And so, I mean, Hank's just standing there, right? Hank was moving forward, but now that she yelled that, he's gonna look like he doesn't really know who Dara is. <laughs> She's hoping, I guess, they profile. And and still kind of like moving towards um, the um, towards the guards, but he's yeah, he's trying to look, look like he doesn't. He's not with Dara. Uh, okay, well they don't know what to make of that. Uh, what? what Dara did, but they, they see Hank approaching. You're now about short, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's, you know, yeah, sure. Okay, so the two of them raise their rifles at you and, and tell you, uh, stop right there. Uh, what are you up to here, Mar- Mary Allen? Are there any other people around this place? No, this is more of a business district area, so a lot of I people thought, are going home. I thought Hank was in disguise. Well, whatever Hank's disguise is. It would have been, I mean, he looks near human anyway, so the disguise was to make him look more human. Okay, um, so what was the difficulty of the disguise? It was a hard, I believe. Uh, a hard, okay. for them. Uh, so yeah, they don't recognize you as a Mary Allen. They just say freeze. What business do you have here? I will freeze and, and um, uh, what building is this again? It's the news. Um, just say that I, um, I was here to for an, an interview at the news and I was told to come here, so what's going on? With my hands up in the air, freeze and follow their commands. Uh, okay, one second. Tell me, just sent me something. Um, you don't have any business with us right now. Move along. Okay, um,. Oh, I need my glasses. I really want to use sense. Yeah. I like sense, but um, uh, influence. Influence. I just don't know what range it is, and I don't have my glasses, so I can't. Uh, it. range depends. It's a it's a talent. Yeah. I think default is engaged. Yeah, default is engaged. <clears throat> okay. Um, is there any way that I can keep moving towards them? Uh, I yeah, would... you could. I mean, the, it just Let's depends on the past them. Okay, I would move still towards them with my hands up. It was like, hey, I need to get paid. They got me for, for an um, interview. Um, yes, I'm not with, you know, I don't know what, what's going on. You know what I mean? I'm just still with my hands up in the okay. air. So you, you, you get forward. engaged with them, and one of them moves forward and says, we told you to stop moving, and he attempts to hit you with the butt of his rifle. Uh, can... Dara now attempt to take a shot at him with stun. A stun uh, if shot. I, if I get engaged, I, I want to use the influence. I mean, I'll just go ahead and take the hit. <laughs> yeah, this okay. is not so, so that yeah. you're so looking he hits, you, uh, he hits you in the head with his rifle. Uh, go ahead and take three wounds. Is that in, in North Soak? Um, well, it can. It, can. it don't matter. I'm yeah. just acting. First okay. of all, what are you planning on doing with influence? Maybe just having to let me go. <clears throat> so, so I take the so I want to use influence and mm-hmm. um, to say, hey, let, let let this guy go. He's he's no of significant influence to you. Okay. Uh, well, that's not really what influence does. Um, yeah, it's it's the there's the mind control ability in it. What would be my check for that? Um, so discipline, right? Yeah, discipline versus discipline. Okay. okay. Um, so it would be uh, one purple, two red. I'm gonna flip. You already flipped, right? I did. 
gonna flip back. <clears throat> And I want to use um, the one that adds two boost dots. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right. Do I really want this to work? Ooh, okay. Gonna use the dark sign? Got to. Okay. The alarm uh, was a test. You do not. There is no need, and no, well, there is no one to take with you. Uh, do you have any magnitude? Yeah, what upgrades does, does uh, Hank have? Hank doesn't have any upgrades, it would just would have worked on just, um... Just the one that actually is holding Aiden? Um, well, I would probably look for the captain, or the one who has the... Oh, well, does Hank have... Does Hank only have the basic power? No, he has uh, magnitude, control, and the basic power. Okay, just making sure. <clears throat> so I guess if I was to spin another one, I could I could do two people. Is that correct? Yes. All right. So I would take two strain. Is that how it works? Yeah. So if you're using the dark side, you'll use two strain, and you flipped. To activate the dark side, so yeah. Alright. I just don't have the tokens. So I yeah, can... I'm trying to find where those are. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, space. he's gonna be like, hey, this guy is no insignificant for you. Please let him, you know, let him go, move along. Okay, so two of them sort of repeat back what you said. Uh, so which ones are you targeting? They don't seem, they all seem to have the same rank. Alright, well, the one that was definitely holding him and then. Maybe the person who told me, who hit me upside the head. Uh, yeah, okay, so that one and the one is like, well, he's right, this this was a test, we just need to let them go. And the third one is like, uh, what, are you guys serious? What's going on here? So, has the guy officially unbinded me? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so yeah. Your, your binds are gone, and uh, you're free to go. The other one is just, like, arguing with the other two. And so this effect lasts a few minutes, right? Um, I, think it's about I said I don't have my glasses on, but if I remember correctly, it's one round or five minutes. Yeah, so, so this uh, the, the one lone stormtrooper that's not influenced is just, like, arguing back and forth with the other two. I kind of... Um, mentioned... Can we just go inside uh, after they go, come in? Or do we want to stun them all now? Uh, well, we have one two on the inside. I think it might be best for us to do Um, Hank is gonna look at Aiden and kind of like give like we need to leave like now. This doesn't, yeah. So he's kind of like doing the quick step, you know, to to walk away. <clears throat> Hopefully, Aiden is falling. Yeah. Down. So the other one's like the the one is shouting at you. Hey, what are you doing? And the other two are just like pushing him and saying, "We need to get back to our control. This isn't our. We don't need to be here." Uh, and so he gets sort of drowned out, and you guys can run run off if you want to. I guess we're abandoning the news place then. Well, no, the droid is still in there. I know it's in there, but I mean, I'll go in there. As far as us. I mean, well, I mean, just thinking out loud. I mean, the thing is, they reset. The alarm's reset, so we may as well carry on with what we're doing. Well, I mean, while this whole thing was going on, I imagine R2 would have just continued on, so. So you say it sort of happened at the same time, and yeah, R2 so, um, came we'll out as you were leaving. Well, let's, let's figure out what R2 did first, and then I guess go from there. Okay, yeah, we'll cut to R2, and then we're going to cut back to Macron. Um, okay, so R2, uh, you're in the lower level. Um, it is where things are actually printed. Um, you see that there are elevators to more of the, the upper area as well. And there's no terminals of any sort here? Uh, the only terminals here seem to uh, operate the machinery. Hmm. All right. I suppose I will go up then. Okay. Um. You see that there's really. What, uh, what kind of droids are down here, though? If there are any. Uh, there. It's not droids. It's just machinery. Okay. Well, then I'll go up. Okay. Um. Uh, so you take the elevator up to the next floor. 
Um, and this seems to be the writer's area. Uh, you can see that it's mostly dark up here with a few, um, like, it looks like just people, a, a couple people still at their desks. It looks like they're just working. All right, I guess I'll find a desk that's not and just kind of far away, maybe even a closed off area if I can. Yeah, give me an average perception check. Average perception. Let's see if I can do that. Okay. I'm getting a lot of rustling. I can't tell where it's coming from. Just no. You're just like yeah. Nah, they, all, all these places well. look pretty good. I mean, you can move away from the lights. That's about all you can really do. Okay, I'll move away from the lights to another terminal and try to get into that one then. Okay. Uh, yeah, you plug in and um, what are you going to search for? Uh, I was going to search for, see if there was any way I could really find that article, crack into it, find out any like deleted information and try to recompile it, find that file that got like uh, erased. Okay. Um, or if I can't find that, then maybe like whoever wrote it. Um, yes. Okay. Um, okay, message from Tommy. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, of course, locations, but... Uh, resistance uh, yeah. cells turn against us, and Gristle's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's the difficulty? Um, okay, so this is their security on their end. Um, so I'm going to make that just hard with a single upgrade. All right, and I'll upgrade just because. Because I don't want to fail this randomly. Which I didn't. Okay. Nice. Um, so you can see, uh, you can find pieces of the article. It looks like it went um, onto the site several different times um, before it was ultimately just removed. Um, each revision of the article uh, just includes additional facts that like point to the rebellion before it's finally removed. And you do find the author, the writer who gave it to you, um, a, a grizzled reporter. Uh, it looks like he's had some time with the the agency. Um, you can see him on numerous articles. Uh, and then you hear a voice behind you, a gravelly old voice. Well, what do we is have it, here? Is it said guy? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Okay. So, what are you uh, doing uh, here, little R2 unit? Uh, maintenance? <laughs> so you let out a little beep boops, and he's just like, it looks like he, he gives a moment to think and be like, yeah, what are you really here for? Quest for the truth. Perfect. Perfect response. <laughs> I, uh, so I, I, would, I guess what was it? The truth? <laughs> Assuming he's a non-corrupt <laughs> journalist. <laughs> okay, so, um... Now... The truth is my business, and business has not been very good lately. What do you- what do you want? What are you really here for? The real facts about this one particular article, and I would, you know, let him know which one that is, about... What was it like, Varric, Neric, or something uh, Var like that? Varnerick's family. Varnerick, right, and the tragedy that you know happened to them. So he he cracks a little bit of a smile, um, takes a swig from his his coffee mug, and says, "That's information the Empire doesn't really want people to know." Holo record it. Oh, I am. <laughs> I can holo record anything. <laughs> He's like he's like an Xbox. He's always recording everything, and he can play back the last five minutes at any given time. Well, that's just yeah. a connect. <laughs> and we're like, what does it or like what is it you need to release that information? Huh. So what would he want? I'm thinking about his motivations now. Um, Make it go global. Yes. Galactic. Uh, Make it so, good global so they can't get it off. He, he asks you, now, why would you be interested in something like that, little droid? <laughs> it's something my master's interested in. I don't know 
his motivations. And then I don't know your motivations. Call to... the monster. Okay, fine. Probably to save Bar Narek for making a stupid decision. Sorry, uh, I just straight up tell him. I, you know what? I can't lie worth a damn, so I'd tell him. We think that Varnaric is going to make a very stupid decision to join the Empire because he thinks that rebels killed his family, and we're trying to prove that they didn't. Come with me. Okay. If he wants See? to live. <laughs> <laughs> the truth still set you free! Uh, apparently the resistance movement has made contact with their leader and they promised 20 devlix to help with the fight if there is one yeah devlix whatever those look like <laughs> I Wait. imagine lizards they're like bird things with green feathers um, All right, close enough yeah um, so he leads you into his office there's uh, a cigar like smoking on a tray uh, he picks it up and takes uh, a nice he inhales nice and long. The Empire added all the stuff about the Rebellion. None of it made sense when I was reporting at the time, but of course, there's nothing I could do at the time. Do you have the facts? The only things I do know is the, uh, the evidence that we did have is inconsistent with the story. The explosives that were used were of Imperial make. Now... That doesn't mean the Rebellion couldn't have stole it. But the fact that the Empire was so insistent upon changing the story, hiding those details, I think I'm with you on this one, but I'm not the type that to be able to fight them. Oh man, I'm recording all this and I have a brilliant idea. I'm going to slice bits and pieces of this different recording together to just make it sound like they had Imperial explosives. They were trying to cover it up. The Rebellion didn't do it. <laughs> and you're going to get this guy killed. So. Oh, oh well, that would be bad. But that would just be, like, for what's-his-face, not for everyone's face. Um... And I could just play it back. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah, you're not okay. broadcasting this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not broadcasting. Yes. Okay, this. if you're not going to release it on the Hollow Note, I guess that's what I'm. No, no, no. This is for Varneric. Oh, yeah. God, I'm not trying to get the dude um, killed. Yeah. So he tells you, if you can keep Var from joining the Empire, I think that'd be a worthy cause. Okay. So I would. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps someday. Get inside my dress. Perhaps someday. This planet will be free from the Empire. Okay, all right. And then I would say, can you tell me where his estate is? Uh, yes, yes. He uh, he looks through some of his old notes uh, and scribbles down something for you. All right, I take it and put it in a compartment. Huzzah! Okay. Huzzah! Um, and all right. That's very cool. Uh, we're going to have I... to wrap up a few things, and we're going to... What's going to happen is that I'm going to create a copy of of what's... We're going to be on the same map with the other team, uh, but we're going to be operating in the same um, in the same channel so that you'll actually be able to see them on the screen and stuff moving around. Um, so we're going to... Uh, we just need to wrap up Macron's thing, so I'm just going to accelerate this. Uh, he bids you adieu. Uh, you meet up with the others. Um, and you come in, and the other group, um, they say that they've got an idea of the location as well, and so you share, you confirm between each other, you guys have the, have the same place. Um, okay, so let's jump back to Macron briefly. Um, so you're talking to that weak way. Yes. And I tell him, I wish, I wish to see your employer. Uh, do you show them Ardo's disc? Not yet. Okay. Um, 
you get taken to a, a back room, um, and the snooty like concierge is already waiting back there, and is uh, it just stares at you and says, "Well, I, I'm interested in what you're doing here." I was hoping I could perhaps enlist some aid in a more. I want to say extracurricular, but it has nothing to do with academics. What would you call that outside of business? Well, I'll, I'll, uh... Illegal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll... Extracurricular's fine, so... I was hoping to enlist some aid for an extracurricular activity outside the city. I was hoping perhaps a... Uh... Well-informed party with some attachments outside the law would be of assistance. He crosses his arm and stares at you. Who are you? I'm a person who can bring this establishment into contact with well-connected individuals. Perhaps even form a more f- firm business association. And, uh, yeah, at that point I would bring out the Ardos disc. Okay. So, his eyes widen, he looks at the disc, um, it looks like he scans it a second and is typing away on a message. Um, you wait a few minutes and he says, just a second, just a second. There's a beep, a response, and he says, come with me. Uh, in, you were taken to his office, one of the panels of the wall gives way and there's an elevator. Ooh, this is getting fun. Um, he guides Second you down to the floor. elevator, and you uh, see, uh, once you're down there, there's a large assortment of non-humans. Uh, you see Gamorians, Nikto, Weequay, obviously in, under the employ of a hut. Um, the concierge, though, leads you to a holotank, and in a few moments, uh, the l- beams of light swirl around, and you see Borga Basadi in front of you. Ah! Ho, 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 ho. Long time no see. Chupada Macranduvel. Okay, so uh, so he he says, uh, um, I am not surprised that Macranduvel would uncover one of my uh, less than honorable establishments. What sort of aid may I give to you to this day? I at least need to borrow a ship from you to quickly make a transit to uh, an estate outside the city. I would also be very uh, indebted if we could perhaps borrow a few of your men as well. Mm. So you see him look up and say, Men... No. Uh, my work here um, is dependent upon my people not being seen. Um, however, I can offer you uh, land speeders to get over to the estate. Um, as well, um, uh, do you want to ask him anything in particular about what this is? Would you happen to know if the Imperials are perhaps doing something with one of the estates? Whether they plan to do something with it, or there, or just do something while there? Okay, let me check my notes here. Uh, to answer your question, Aiden, the Autos disc is kind of just a symbol that we're like made men of a hut. We're kind of protected by it. Yeah, gotcha. and, and so the uh, they don't have an Autos disc of the Basadi. But Borga would be well aware of the um, the connection because they they he was responsible he was half responsible for actually getting the Ardos disc that they have. Um, so as soon as that information was given, he knew that who was there. Um, as well, this is Borgans and it's Borga, so yeah, yeah, I don't know, play with that. Okay, so um, he says that this establishment. Uh, has many um, there are many imperial voices and so- high society that have gone through his um, 
his uh, that have, have passed through these uh, these walls. Um, he says he uh, that there are, there are quite a few interesting tidbits um, that the Empire has going here. Um, so he he's willing to tell you one thing. Uh, you could ask about. Um, so what, what was your question directly? I'm basically wondering if he knows anything about what the Imperials might do at or near the Narek, old Narek estate. Okay, so uh, he thinks, uh, he asks them to run some analysis on Narek. Um, he says that the, the family actually used to attend, um, okay, very often. Uh, and they would often uh, have a guest in the form of uh, Malau Jakaos. And he says also, Malau Jakaos joined Imperial Intelligence. Of course he did. Gotta love that sort of treason from within. <laughs> okay. Uh, and so, uh, uh, Borga uh, says, that's really all. Uh, I can provide you this day. I will, of course, be looking for repayment at some point in the future. But of course, Borga. Okay. Um, okay, with that, guys, uh, I'm going to post another link, and we're going to move into that, okay? So uh, we're going to be moving into a joined, a joined session, basically. Oh, we're not, not just right back into the first one? Uh, not just right back into the first one, because we're going to be doing our own thing, um... Uh, we're going to be infiltrating the estate while they're doing sort of full frontal assault. Uh, well, actually, let me ask Tommy. Oh, can I also get the name of that agent typed, just so I uh, can recall it? Okay. Uh, just a second. Uh. <laughs> I just wanted to make that explicitly clear. <laughs> also, uh, Merrick, could you do me a, like... I guess it's a little bit too late, but like, get me some explosives from Borga because I really need those, and they'll be useful in the infiltration. I uh, I understand what you would want. I just don't see how he would already know that. Yeah, I suppose. Like, I guess, like, because the next time he'll probably have that opportunity to relay everything is when he's bringing the air speeders to you so we could get to the Narek estate. Uh, flip a destiny, and I'll say that some of the land speeders just, you know, in the a cargo compartment have some frag grenades. All right, sure. Okay, you have. Three. And now we're bringing six dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so three frag grenades. Um, you, you pocket those. Fuck. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, we are going to join the main one to start off. Um, it look, uh, we're probably going to do the split off uh, after that. So go ahead and uh, rejoin the main one. Okay. Okay, see you guys over there. Yep. We're just rejoining the main one? Yeah, just rejoin the main one for right now. Welcome infiltration team. What you see uh, beside you, uh, you followed a little bit of a trail, and it looks like you've got some bedroom windows right there. Um, what you notice from the manor estate is that it's in a state of disrepair. Um, Narek may have come here, but he, um, like he has n probably not been here since the incident. So basically, half walls, so on and so forth. Yeah, uh, it's not really just decomposed, but you can see like vines growing up the sides of the walls, and everything is just sort of uh, broken down. Maybe a few broken windows here or there from from people coming in, and you know, probably taking things from the inside. Love play. Bloody looters. Okay, uh, so you guys are outside on the side here. Um, how do you want to proceed? I think it's best that uh, we probably find Derek's point. 
Yeah, well, I, I just think we should get into the manor as soon as possible, because there's no okay. doubt that they're yep. in there. Yep, let's go find a door and get in there. Okay, I'm going to go through that entrance there. Okay, uh, that is a window. Yeah, so, um, no problem. Yeah, I mean, there's there's actually not much difficulty getting up there. Tori's is on the second story. Um, yeah, so it's it, uh, that window would be second story. Okay, is there any ground floor? Um, yeah, there is. There is a ground floor. This is uh, this map is not very good. Um, Whoops. So let me. Uh, do we want to go uh, to the ground floor? Or do we want to go to the second floor? Yeah, there isn't well, a window it's... at the ground floor. Is there a door? There isn't a door at the ground floor. Okay, okay, okay. R2 would probably roll over there, angle a little bit, and shoot his little ascension cable up there. <laughs> that doesn't even require a roll, does it? You just do it. It's like ranged light, I suppose. If I you think want it's only... It. Oh, to actually hit it, I think. Yeah, you're right. So go the ahead. The ascension with... pistol? Yeah, it's an average range light. So average range light. See if you can get a good... Let me good see what that is. I did put points into it a little bit just for this. Oh, yeah, go ahead and take two strains, so your token should be there. Uh, yep. And so you go up, and you move through the window, and you are now in this bedroom. Yeah, I'd let everyone shimmy up there before I ascend. Oh, okay. That's what I was hoping to do. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not going to make this just for time's sake. Everyone can shimmy up. Um, <laughs> it's not extremely difficult to, uh, to do, so everyone can get up and be in this bedroom. Thanks. Overgrowth. Yeah, there's like vines and stuff that you can, you know, anchor onto as well. So, and then R2, you know, very, uh, very dramatically pulls him his own self up. Uh, it's like <laughs> a math master. Okay, so there's an exit of this room here. Uh, Dara, you said to take point. Well, yeah. Griffith will put on his stealth field and probably move ahead since that's a little more reliable, just in case. I have my carbine okay. ready. Yeah, I'm gonna have my two um, blaster pistols out ready. I'm gonna uh, set my carbine to stun. Okay, so Gristle opens the door and goes out. Yeah, he'll nudge it open and look through first. He has one gauntlet on. Okay, so what you see from the door being open uh, is about that. Uh, you can look down and see that there's a ball in the all right, we're on the second floor. Okay, yeah. yeah. Then he'll like kind of move out a bit, come out on the side, still with the stealth field on. I'll put a little energy, you know, that I still have it. Oh, if I can find one. Well, I'll put a blue thing there. Okay, can Dara, um, using um, mouth and blink um, communications to R2, can R2 scan for some sort of uh, life forms other than Yeah, that's exactly what I was getting ready to think. I got scanners and whatnot that I could sit there and try to like start finding like either life forms or electronic signals or anything. Life forms. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Data. Okay, um, so is there a check for that? I don't think so, right? No, 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 I'm not. No, 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 yeah, unless you want there to be one. Okay. I guess you could make it like a perception or computers check if you wanted. Yeah, I would prefer I th computers. Yeah, go ahead and make me an average computers check. Just to make sure you have it calibrated oh, correctly. correctly and, um, I'm going to upgrade that, though, because, you know, fun. Do we know what race is the two of them are? Human. Well, yeah, everyone looks for human. human. And Before given that it's, mm -hmm. this is all Imperial stuff, the other guy's probably human, too. Okay, can you see me pinging up here? Yes. Okay, no. you get a life form from there, and you get several life forms over here. Of course. So I would relay that. Um, you do not see any doors uh, into that northern area until you... Oh, wait. Yes, you do. You see a door right there. Yeah. Chris has moved to the other side of our door. <laughs> get a better look at uh... that. Macron's gonna want to climb back down to see if there's like a window over here. This sounds dangerous. Uh, Dara's going low, Go, you know, crouching down and moving at the same time. Let me get a few I'm set up. Just gonna stay by Dara. 
I'm gonna provide uh, security for a rear guard. Okay, I need to get a few tokens on the board, so give me one second. Oh wait, I think this might actually work out a lot better than I hoped. But you guys have to be ready. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery. It's like, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Macron will call Gristle, and he says, I'm about to do something that will get their attention. Gotta be ready to capitalize once I do. Okay, well... We need to move into position, then. I know. That's yeah. why I haven't done it yet. It's right at the door up north. I guess it is it closed? It is closed. Okay, then Chris will get up like next to the doorway. Mm-hmm. Can you give and, me an average or oh, well go ahead. Yeah, I was just about to say, can you listen for, for yes. something? Yes, yes. Um average perception check. Average perception. So you hear a very swarmy voice. Be quiet, you fools. We don't know when they'll be here. And uh, you can hear rustling of laminate, and uh, you believe there are at least, you would estimate about ten people on the other side of the door. Ten, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Chris is gonna kind of like tap back in communication to Macron, like, at least ten inside, wearing armor. They're we got him. Us. What a Do poor we... time to have Goblet not here. <laughs> Yeah, do um, we have any uh, grenades or anything? Dara pulls out her concussion grenade and taps Chris on the, on the shoulder. Oh, that might help. Find his shoulder. <laughs> hmm, we can set these as traps. Or we can roll it into the room and close the door. Ah, but um, what if Tango, like Extraction Tango, is in there? <clears throat> well, then he's just concussed. It's only a concussion grenade. We just stunned she, she them. Can take so. it. Well, they can both take it. Stuns better than her getting shot. True. It's easier to extract an unconscious body than a dead body. No, I'd say they're about the same. It's just you don't get the other one to wake back up. Yeah. Yeah, we can't get in trouble if she died. So is there a window or anything up here? Yeah, there is a window up there. Okay, so what are you guys going to do? I uh, is I want to try and see if I can climb up to look through the window stealthily, but not go into it yet. Okay, uh, roll your stealth. It's going to be hard uh, with an upgrade and a setback because you're climbing and trying to stealth. Uh oh. Tap on the window by accident. You I see you. Oh. Can that give me a boost since it's loud yes, and distracting? Yes, yes. Actually, yeah. Take away the setback and add a boost. Perfect. Alright, let me hey. just double check my stealth skill. I know it's probably not that good. No, You're ready not. with that grenade. And from which direction outside is the sound coming from? Uh, forward. Uh, south. So, north, south. Okay. South, so you can yeah. actually look south if you scroll down. Sounds like our battle's in progress. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's get these grenades, like, set up by the door real quick, then. <laughs> I know the rules say you can, like, set them on to be tripped basically however you want, right? Okay. I'm pretty sure most of the grenade descriptions say that. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, uh... That doesn't require a rule either, I don't think. It's just trying to get them into the trap, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, so Macron, you climb up, and this is what you see, and you see Varnaric staring directly at you. It looks like he had overturned a desk and has a blaster in his hand, which he is then pointing to you, and he started shouting. Uh, I... Uh, and so he's shouting now? Yeah. Uh, I get on a call and it's like, it's going down. Okay. Uh, let's toss the grenade into the room. Yeah, let's roll initiative, everyone. Wait, how many grenades do you have, Dara? Um, I've got two. Two, okay. 
so I think you guys probably need both have their agility, so you guys can both have them. And you guys can be the ones to throw them in. Okay. Yeah, so everyone... Well, um, what, what, what are we rolling? Cool or Vigilance? Uh... Hmm. And technically, it's these guys who would be rolling cool, but yeah. Macron must seem... So I guess probably either one could work. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm, f- I'm fine with either one. So. Macron rolling Vigilance. Yeah. No, well, I'm rolling cool. Point three and one point three. Four. All right, I got these. Okay, is everyone rolled? Looks like it. Yep. Okay. Um, okay. Three point one, three point three. Three point two. They can get a maneuver. But not a free maneuver before combat because that's not confusing at all. Ooh. And then. 4.1. And 1.1. Okay. Is that all of them? Yes. All right. Uh, definitely one NPC gets to go first. I need to sort the rest to figure the rest out. Yeah, one NPC, two NPCs. I'll just copy and paste this. Oh wait, they'll see it. Yeah, screw it. I'll do it too. Okay. Sloppy, but whatever. Okay. So. Um... Are we... Uh, okay, so uh, one of them gets to go first? Yes. So uh, Varn Eric points his blasters at you, and it looks like he's aiming for your hands. Uh, I'm going to try and dodge, maybe swing around on the vines out here. <laughs> it's awesome! Let me, let me make sure I have... I know I have one rank. I need to make sure I don't have more. Mm-hmm. Uh, nope, just one. So upgrade once. Okay. Okay. doesn't... Okay, so you put strain on there. Oh! Okay, um. Yeah, he misses you. Um, he misses the. the he was try- Looks like he was just trying to get you loose. But the the vines start to come loose from your swinging. Uh, can you make me a uh, hard coordination check to at least grasp onto a ledge or get some good footing? Uh, I can try. Coordination. Hard. Hard, yes. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade once just for the sake of it. Wow. Yay! Okay, so where are we? Oh, I lost my page. Okay, yes, uh, take three strain, but you pieces. stay on so you don't take fall damage. Basically, he's uh. both foot trapped. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take the next slot. Uh, maneuver to get inside, do you think? Uh, yes, yes. The, the, the window, uh, it's more of like a like a sliding door almost. It's, there's not a balcony per se, but there's like a little outcropping. So, okay. yeah, so you can just slip in. Okay, Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say after the vines started to give way, I had to use the last of my momentum to fling myself onto uh, the window sill, what was left of it, and that knocked uh, some of my breath out, which caused a strain, but I was able to propel myself over the sill and rolled inside. I, while I do have Meister and Lair on me, I'm not armed, and I hold my hands up, and he said, and I'm saying, you have been, and I just say, you have been deceived. Things are not as you think they are. If you uh, take one step closer, I'll kill you. I... I just stand, I, well, I'm not standing because that's just going to make a giant target, but I'm just crouching by the bed with my hands up. And I'm like, it wasn't the rebels that killed your family, it was the Empire. They framed, they framed the rebels specifically so they could get to you. You have proof. That's not yes. true. We, that's well, impossible. Invest- I, I have a recording of the reporter who investigated it. He can tell, we, 
I can show you that the Empire were the ones that added the facts in that made it look like it was a rebel attack. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. What kind of check would you like to do here? Uh, definitely not deception. I'm thinking maybe... I'd say charm. Yeah, I'd say Negotiation, charm. maybe? Charm or negotiation? Well, I'm, I'm basically telling him that he's making or has going to make a huge mistake. I'm basically trying to win him back to our side. So yeah, I think charm would best apply. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make that three red with a setback. All right, I applaud with my ability, which gets rid of that. Uh, what is my charm? It's either two yellow or... Th oh, nope, it's three. All right, I'm also going to flip... Oh darn, I've already done the reroll for the charm. I have to make sure I don't have anything else I can use. Any parlor tricks? Uh no. Yep, this is all I got. Let's see. Fingers crossed. Oh, just so close. Uh he keeps his blaster on you and you from the shout, uh you can see uh uh stormtroopers and it looks like a sergeant trying to run towards your direction. All right, uh, next PC. <laughs> okay, Dora is going to open the door and roll in the um, concussion grenade. Okay, what do you want to target? Um, I believe um, th those dudes. No, you should do the ones that are charging at Macron, and then maybe count up. Well, I, had a, I have actually have a better angle on the group going after uh, our buddy. Necron. But the, the problem is inside. two NPCs get to go before anyone else, so maybe Kalno should just take that chance. Um, I've got Quick Strike, so okay, I could try them. Yeah, yeah I think that'd be better. Quick Strike gives you boost, so that's fodder for advantage, so that's a pretty good choice. Okay, difficulty is... Um, you are short from them, um, because yeah. you have to take this, the highest difficulty. Um, adversary 2, um, Adversary 2. So it's Which is... a, a red and a purple, so two upgrades to the difficulty. Okay, then I'll flip. Ooh, okay. So, uh, tell me what happens. Okay, the concussion grenade rolls in, um, gets his foot, and as it taps his foot, it goes boom, or whatever concussion grenades do. Okay, so um, that's enough to trigger blast and the stagger quality, um, and the concuss quality rather, so both of these would be concussed. Uh, this, is a, this is a minion group over here. Can you tell me the damage? Okay, it is Blast 8, Concussive 2, Disorient 5. Okay, and what's the base damage of it? Oh, sorry, base damage is 10. So 12 damage, 10 Blast. We add successes to Blast, I forget. Yes. Yeah, success. Let's add to Blast. Okay. <laughs> and go ahead and take out two NPC slots at the bottom for two turns. Um, can I... Can I... Um, how many crits? Can I, I got two ranks in removing crits. Uh, no, you have um, to. That's all of the advantage and the triumph spent. That's all of the advantage. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right. Next up is two NPCs. Um, or two NPCs. Okay. Okay. So these stormtroopers right here are going to shoot at Dara. Um, any ranks in dodge or defense? Oh yes, I'm going to use dodge. I have a rank in dodge, as in a talent, um, and I have defense of one. Okay. Oh, and also as an incidental, Macron will tell R2 to try and project a giant hologram of what he recorded into the Grand Gallery. I mean, you have a recording. I gave you I one. I was wondering if you'd pat. All right. Uh, I mean, I can, I can do it. I had an idea I wanted to try, but if that's what you want me to try, we can do that. Well, I didn't know I had a recording. I I sort of like said early on that I yeah, wanted to distribute it. it to everyone, 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you did. I remember now. I, I forgot. Okay, so that's going to be 12, and they're going to send a boost to the next person. Does that include soak? Yeah, you can apply your soak to that. Okay. I, I don't suppose having that hologram projecting would have given me any boosts, even though it's a giant retcon at this point. <laughs> uh, I don't think a single boost. You can try is, it again with the hologram. Yeah, uh, you can. Uh, yeah, so you could you can try again and see if you can make a a more convincing case. Be like, no, listen to this. Of course, you're gonna have to try and convince them to listen to you. So. And uh, not shoot you for reaching for your you know hollow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so do you got the damage on Dara? Um, so. Yep. Okay, and then, so I sh this should be my last turn for the round, right? Because of the concuss. Yes. Okay, so uh, yeah. this swarmy guy looks at Dara, and he takes out a very particular-looking pistol. Um, and okay, so uh, are you gonna dodge again? Yes. Okay. Not great for him. Dara, is that green bar your health? Because it looks bad. Oops. Yeah, that is my health. Yeah, you might want to oh. fix that. He missed. Wow. Well, that dodge in your defense came out for you. Okay. Um, so what you see shoot out is an arc of electricity, actually. Um, so it's not a blaster bolt that he tried to fire with, but it, like... Um, gets drawn to some, uh, like, metal, uh, that's around. I'll say the chandelier in the center. Uh, it gets drawn to that. It sparks, and the, uh, the chandelier, uh, is going to basically cause setbacks for all of you guys firing into the room. Um, and that's what I'm going to spend the try. What? Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> oh, did we? Oh, when did we lose Ben? Uh, I don't know. He's been going in and out. All right. Uh, well. Anyway, uh, the it's PCs until the end of the round, so everyone who hasn't gone can go. Ah, he's just arrived. Okay, so okay. the chandelier in the center of the room is like, um, sparkling. Not sparkling, but like it took a <laughs> shot of electricity and is like flashing, and it's gonna be there's a setback to uh, whoever's firing into the room. I can throw go next and throw the other grenade at that other big group. Yep. What uh what's to throw a grenade? So there's there's three over here it's uh, and then light. three over here with um someone who's just in a uniform and he's got a very swarmy look on his face. He's very, yeah, he's, very, he's very satisfied with himself. And it, uh, it, yeah. I'm going to throw it over by this uh guy that looks too proud for himself yeah okay um so that is going to be um adversary two uh and i'm gonna upgrade that so i'm gonna upgrade that uh so three upgrades to the check which i think uh you'd still be at short if you move in over here so is that right um so you do a maneuver okay yeah, you'd, you'd be at short. Uh, so uh, it'd become two red and then a setback from the chandelier going crazy. Okay. And a setback. And then it's just straight agility? Um, if you don't have any ranks in it, yeah. Okay. It's range light. It's range light. Oh, oh range light? Okay. Yeah. Well, I got... I got one in range light. Okay, just uh, uh, re-roll that uh, with the the replacing a, a green with a yellow. Okay. Okay. Um. So damage. Uh, the concussion grenade is. Yeah, it is for a concussion grenade. It is as again damage is ten. Okay, so thirteen. Um, and then you don't have any advantage to trigger blast or concussive, unfortunately. Okay. There's also disorientate as well. Yeah, this is also <laughs> we would need advantage to trigger that too. Um, okay. So take a strain, and then some of these stormtroopers are going to take damage from that. So uh, 13, you said? Yes. And 
so there's an explosion, and one of them took damage. Okay, it should just be you guys to close it out, right? Yeah, Matt, uh, Crystal, Mark II, both of you guys can do something. Um, I like Crystal do what he's gonna do because I have a thing that may or may not be weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess if hmm, could either go in and help or heal someone. Hmm. Uh, Darren doesn't know what she's that shape. Yeah, she's above half, right? I got on. A, I can't see the roll twenty, so above half. Uh, yeah, she's above half. She's nine okay. out of. Um, 14. 14, yeah. Okay, then we will roll a medicine check. You said that's six wounds, six strain, and if you have a crit, you can do that. Otherwise, plus one wound. So, seven wounds, six strain, you can have a crit. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, there's not a crit. Is there anything else... Um, you want to think about for the triumph? Oh, well, I mean, um... Upgrade or next check? Uh, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay. sure. Dara, you'll have an upgrade on your next check. Wait, I'm Thank you. Yeah. I was going to say, as far as maneuvers... Yeah, you would have had to take he, a maneuver to get to her? Oh, is he not far? Okay, yeah, so... Can I? Can we take another maneuver to get... Oh, I don't know. I was going to say to get into the room where Macron and Bar are. Um, you could get close. There are stormtroopers, like, almost in the doorway, basically. Yeah, the stun ones. But can he get, like, past them at all with one more maneuver? I'll say that you're, like, basically at the doorway with that. All right. Sure. Oh, Let's but do that. What, what about the um, arcing um, chandelier? Uh, That's only if you're shooting. Yeah. So I'll, I'll put two strain on your token for that. All right, now we're for R2. All right, what I wanted to try to do is, now I'm working under the assumption all stormtroopers have, like, short-range comm frequencies in, built into their helmet, right? Sure. If there be a way for me to, like, tap into their frequency and just create, like, a really, really <laughs> ear-splittering <laughs> feedback? Okay, uh, that sounds like a pretty daunting thing to do. Um, I'm gonna say that um, Imperial Encryption is pretty difficult to do, uh, but what this would effectively give is a setback to all of their checks if you succeed. Okay. So I'm gonna make that daunting uh, with an upgrade. Alright, so that's how many purple? So four, uh, three purple, one red. Okay. And this... Okay. This would definitely be some kind of... Uh, would this be like a... This would definitely be a code breaker, right? Uh, it's not really code, it's really just getting into the, well, hmm. Codebreaker is the way I read it. Codebreaker is more like breaking a pattern. Yeah. Eh. Well, I don't know, I always thought, I always thought of encryption as like that, but alright. Um, with data breaker then, definitely, the computer bits for that? Um, hmm. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and maul that. Okay, and then I'll also upgrade it myself again. All right, wish me luck. Yep. Good luck. Huh? Okay, uh, so all of the stormtroopers um, have a setback. Um, Is it just a, like, just a wail of destruction yeah, in their you, ear? You can see, uh, well, the people inside the room see uh, Malau shriek a bit and then throw an earpiece to the ground. Ah. Not going to affect him. Okay, we're at the top of the round with one NPC. Oh, one NPC at the round? Okay, and then who... At the top of the round. At the top, okay. So, um, Narek is going to, like, reposition himself around the... He doesn't see Gristle because Gristle's invisible. Uh, he's gonna reposition himself around the table that he flipped over and said, uh, the rebels are all lies. They're killers. They're terrorists. I won't... I don't believe you. I'm not a rebel. <laughs> Just want to point that out. <laughs> okay, and he's gonna fire at you. I flip okay, uh, I'm again gonna take another strain to do the dodge, and I. Oh, you know what? I also forgot to count. I have range defense. Uh, okay. Just one though. Okay. okay, he hits you for eight damage. 
Okay, I have. I take four. I. Uh, I'm going to gasp a bit, uh, but I'm going to continue. Uh, I'm going to say, just as I'm like, I kind of feign gripping my wound to produce my hollow calm, and then I start to play it as I continue my speech, my pontificating. Uh, Malau played you from the start. He arranged this whole thing just so he could get you as an asset to betray the rebels. He's the one responsible for the death of your family, not the rebellion. Okay. Um, yeah, that's enough to make him take pause. So are you wanting um, charm for this one again? Uh, I'm not entirely sure now that I've gotten onto this rhetoric. Maybe... But I also think uh, I, I could also see coercion here. I don't know. I, I, I'd say, yeah, let's keep going with the charm. Okay. I, I would also like to say that that video is just a wee bit doctored so that, like, some of the stuff that the guy was saying is like, eh, maybe, maybe not it was the Empire, but I made it look like, yeah, he's saying it is the Re Empire. Without a doubt. 100%. <laughs> unless R2 told him, Macron wouldn't know that. I'm yeah, just saying. So the, I, no, I'm just saying, like, for the, the quality of the video, maybe. You know, how what it's like. Yeah, and so the video, you, you, you the old man just smoking a cigar, uh, saying, you know, the same things you heard before. It cuts a little bit in him saying a little different. Uh, maybe it's a little smoother than that, though. We'll see. Uh, yeah. We didn't, we didn't roll for R2 to do that. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, so a setback from it being a little uh, cutting in and out, but two boosts. Um from the recording. Alright, uh, plausible deniability negates the setback. This time actually makes sense since Macron doesn't know it's doctored. Uh, and I'm also <laughs> flipped to upgrade my check. Oh my god, come on. Oh well, that's something at least. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Double so, failure for each red die. My god. So, um,. Uh, for the advantage, I'll say that he lowers his gun, but he's just like saying, no, no, that's not true. Uh, what do you want the triumph to be? Uh, he's still right, willing to like, listen? <laughs> uh, the triumph. Oh, um, the triumph? Uh, you notice on his wrist, um, there seems to be some sort of locator band. Um, and you recognize that this would uh, be able to track some sort of target somewhere. So if they had planted a tracker on someone, um, this would be how they could tr uh, make sure of where they are. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Probably he's been bugged. Uh, and I'll say that you realize at this point, like he's completely deluded. It's almost it's it's like. Um, he refuses to believe this because of what it really means at the end of the day. That he has been responsible for killing so, so many people. Like, he's he's just, like, shutting it out at this point. So you realize that you're not going to be able to convince him at this moment. All right. Uh, one more PC can go. Okay. Um, I will go. It's like we've lost one. Person. Yeah, Dara will go and she's going to take a shot at those two. Okay. Um, they're just ordinary stormtroopers, no <laughs> adversary or anything. Is that do just an elite or is that his squad? Um, he doesn't not have it. It's not his squad, it's just him. It's just him, right. Okay. And yeah, they do, they, they are a little better than normal stormtroopers, they have adversary one. Yeah, okay, she's gonna shoot at those girls, those guys. Okay, so adversary one, no defense. So it would just be one red for you. Right, one red, just one red, no purple? No purple. Okay. Um, yeah, she's actually gonna go and do uh, guns blazing. Welcome back, Philip. Um, right, yeah, yeah, guns blazing, so she's gonna take two strain. Oh, I wish this thing could move properly, that's better. Right, taking two strength to do that. 
Uh, ooh, split fire. So here we go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna flip. So does that mean I get an extra green? Depends on your pool. What do you what do you play? What do you have before the flip? Um, before the flip, it was uh, three yellow because I had a boost, yeah, I believe, an upgrade. Uh, then you're right. Yeah. It won green. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Okay, tell me what happens. Okay, she draws both of her blaster pistols and lets rip into um, these guys, and I do believe activating um, paired weapon. Okay. And um, uh, damn, I can't use. Um, Sorry, I'm just just trying to see what I can. Yeah, also, yeah okay, yeah, and she's um, also going to activate crit as well. Okay. Uh, a crit kills one of them immediately. What's the damage on the others? Um, yeah, right. Okay, so yeah, um, damage is eight. So basically, she just lets rip in, in with a hail of um, blast of fire. Go eat this, yeah. Okay, and so that's eight before the successes are added, or eight with the successes? That is eight before the successes are added. So ten damage. Uh, you can see that the other two are looking pretty hurt from the attack, uh, but one of them is down. Chill. Alright, uh, two NPCs. Okay, uh, so the two guys here are still staggered. Um, so the stormtrooper over here is still gonna target Dara. So, uh, dodge or defenses? Yeah. Dodge and one ranged. Okay. So. Ah, right, okay. Do, do. Flip for them. They're gonna aim. Oh, oh, okay. This is interesting. Um, so, first off, they're going to do uh, 13 damage. You can apply your soak to that. Yeah, um, okay, that's 10. Okay, they're going to crit you. Um, and that's going to be a 70. Oh, no, that's overpowered, isn't it? Oh, darn, you know what? I don't have it right in front of me right now. Uh, hold on, I can quickly get it in just like a second. Uh, 78 is overpowered, yeah. Ooh. Oh my, Dara. Do you have any ranks in durable? Uh, no. Okay. Um, well, first, let's resolve the despair before I roll this. Uh, what do you want to happen for their despair? Um... With the uh, shrieking in their ears, they shoot something above them and something falls on them. Um, yeah, okay, I'll say they're entangled because of that. So it's the um, the chandelier that's above them. Um, so that falls into their feet and they're not going to be able to maneuver around. Uh, and then they lay into you once again. Uh, so that's going to be 13. Okay, another 13, that's another 10. Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they take another crit for going over. Yeah, okay, and so this is going to be a crit plus 10. Uh, <laughs> oh man, that would have been best. Yeah. overpowered again. 85 is? No, oh, 85. Uh, that's winded. Okay, so uh, just note that Dara has two crits. Um, and so... Go ahead and put that on here. Okay. I could have sworn I saw some, another number pop up before 75. Is Dara still conscious? I don't think so. No. Okay, so Dara falls down. Um, the hail blaster bolts is just too much for her. All right. Uh, was that just one NPC? Yes. So I have another. Oh, 
right? Um, you, you muted yourself. I only heard a bit of that. Uh, it's the computer muting me. Am I here? Yeah. Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, so I still have one, one NPC? Yes. Um, so, Malau just starts taunting everyone and saying, You pathetic rebellion scum. You think you understand everything, but I'm in control here. So he is scathing tirade. So let me get that. Does he have something that would let him use it beyond short range? Uh, okay, so you need, uh, you would need like some sort of call. Oh no, so I guess he's only just yelling at Kalno. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's just yelling at the, at Kalno, uh, that, Kal you know, he's just insulting you and saying that the Empire is always superior. If you don't learn it here, uh, you'll learn it someday. And where's his coercion? It's right there. Okay. Um, do you want to upgrade this or anything? Uh, yeah, I'll upgrade it. Okay, uh, so uh, seeing your friend just go down right next to you, uh, his words are starting to ring true, and you take four strain. And you have a setback. For three rounds, I assume. So I set for one setback? Yeah, one setback for three rounds, if that's how many ranks and coercion he has. Yes, that's fine. Uh, ranks and coercion? Yeah. Uh, he has four ranks and coercion. Oh, so for four rounds. All right. Uh, with, on that note, it moves on to PCs till the end of the round. So everyone, anyone who hasn't gone can go. Okay. Yeah, so before yeah. we do anything else, follow me on this trail here, guys. <laughs> so Gristle wants to come in behind Var, fucking just tackle him with and take Macron and just bail out that window. Um. Oh. So you want to grab him and then drag him out through yeah. the window? Okay. So yes. let's make an opposed athletics check. Well, 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 I mean, he's not. Know, we're well, I mean, so does Var. Var is his, his wrist thing. Like Crystal's basically putting him in a hold and, and dragging him, like he's brawling him out of here. Oh, okay. So you want to do a brawl check first? Yeah, basically. Like that's the that's the check to like you know get him into a hold so okay. we can take him out. Okay. So uh, two red. Two red. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do this then. It's too red. Uh, can I get any kind of boost for being in stealth or from him being distracted by Macron? Or... Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good point. Um, I, I'll give you two boosts, actually. Excellent. And I'll flip because I really just want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, something. Um, so can you give me strain damage on that just to keep track? Oh, uh, as far as pressure point goes, that would be 10 through soak, 10 strain through soak. Oh wow! Okay. okay. Oh, I didn't set up the bars. Basically, all all, <laughs> all I wanted to do is just grab him and drag him out of that window with Macron. That's okay. all I want to do. Uh, yeah, you have him in that in that grapple, so you can move with him uh, as a maneuver. Yeah. So. Yeah, so we'll strain, and he's just like Macron, <laughs> we're leaving. He just takes far and just bails out of the window. Okay. Um, you're not going to be able and, to, to do that in, on your turn, but you're going to be at the window. Because you did a maneuver okay. to get in close, a maneuver to drag him, and then your action to, to grapple him. Alright. Then I guess we'll just have to hope that the other team kind of catches on. Or if he can, he'll just come and be like, leave, retreat, get Derek, get out. Alright. Uh, well, to respond to that, uh, R2 and Galno can go. Uh, R2, well, you, yeah, if you know. anything, I can, I can try and use, like, my little ascension pistol to drag Dara over here out of the way of fire, and then I can use like a medicine check on her. Uh, she's already had a medicine check for this encounter. Oh, you can only do it yeah. once? Yep. You're gonna shoot me! With a grappling, like, magnetic grappler. I'm sure you got something that just hooks to your armor. Well then, I got nothing other than 
dragging your corpse out of here. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a fire extinguisher? Oh, well, if you have two stim packs, you can get her on her feet again. Uh, wait, I might actually have stim packs. I might start carrying them. Can't be able to, unless they both do it, they won't be able to produce two and inject her with two. Okay. With uh, no, if I don't. I need you to start carrying stim packs. <laughs> R2, do you have a fire extinguisher? Uh, not anything, like, on a list, but I could probably have something that, you know, counts as one. I don't think there's really well, a fire extinguisher you can buy. If you pr produce a smoke screen, I can grab Darren and we can uh, hightail it. Yeah, I guess, if anything, I can, uh, just try and grab Dara and get out of here. Um, apparently Hank sensed an invisible transocean. Hmm. Oh joy, when it rains it pours. <laughs> We're not having any luck. Uh. Yeah, I mean, we got a, we got a buggy. Yeah, so like, just do what you guys can to, to leave. <laughs> Time Dara was left for dead. Are uh, the doors, are they like the slide doors or are they... Uh, these uh, are like grand doors right here, so they're pretty yeah. heavy wood doors. So they, oh, open, wood. they don't slide open. Uh, they don't slide open, no. I think the idea is can we close them and maybe keep them from coming through easily? Let's see. That would be possible. Um, so what's the... How would you How would you end up doing that? I don't know. R2 could, like, lock them and then fuck the lock somehow. I don't know. I could try, few, like, fusing them shut. Um, yeah, I mean, there is, there, is, there, there is metal for the uh, the actual locks themselves. So you could yeah. fuse the the actual locking mechanism. So once the, the, the doors come together, you could do that. So uh, you would need Kalno uh, to move uh, back in, and then, uh, because otherwise you're shutting him in the room. Alright, uh, I'll close the door, backing up, and, uh, pick Dara up. Uh, is anyone else, like, I'm hearing Philip, but he's coming through, like, really Yeah, it's really, really disruptive. Yeah, he's very broken. You can still kind of make out what he's you're, saying, You're but... a breather, I think you need some, some repairs. Yeah, it's just the immersion, because that killed our voice filtration. Uh, so, I'm backing up, closing the door, and picking up Dara. Okay. So then R2 can move forward and uh, fuse the door. Okay. Give us a few, few seconds of reprieve. Okay. Um, pick your own difficulty on the mechanics check. I'm going to upgrade it, whatever you choose. So this is going to correspond to the athletics check that it's going to take for them to break through it. All right, I think I'm gonna make it uh, one red, three purple, and then I'll use my mechanics check, and I think I'll upgrade it my again myself. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Um, you fry your circuits a bit, and you take three strain. Uh, but yeah, tell me what you want that triumph to do. Add a red die to the difficulty. <laughs> Um, yeah, you know what, that does sound, that sounds good, just like that few, it's fused shut, like, really tight, like, maybe, if it's electronic, even then, they couldn't, like, like, yeah, go to uh, open so, since this is, like, a manor, I was envisioning, like, wood, just standard doors, not anything electronic. Yeah, I would say maybe the lock, like, scoured the wood. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, the, um, yeah, it, it just, it's, like, it's kind of still... the difficulty <laughs> one more time. Yeah, yeah, so upgrading it, so it's going to be daunting with an upgrade for them to try and break in, break through. Um, yeah, and so that daunt, uh, that, okay, yeah. Okay, so you've got that, that area locked then. All right. Uh, Alpha team, we uh, got the door skills and getting ready to evac. Okay, you can put that in the chat, actually, since we can communicate. I mean, kind of, we still need to get, i say we just need to get this thing off the guy's wrist and find her real quick. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like Gristle's like motioning to to Macron. Well, no, Macron's the one who saw it, so Macron would know it. So Gristle's just kind of holding Neric. While yeah, Macron uh, can do what he can to get it's the, the top of the round, so one NPC does get to go, oh. and all those stormtroopers aren't staggered anymore. Okay. Uh, 
So uh, they come. Uh, the hmm. this is interesting. So does the stealth field say that it collapses once you attack someone? Um, that's something that Tommy and I talked about. And back in in Hutball, actually, he had it so that when his Trandoshan shot, it didn't break. And we kind of talked about it, and we didn't really know. We usually, kind of leave it up to what are, what people think. Okay. Huh. But I mean, if anyone looked, they would see Nerik being hauled off by a ghost. So. Yeah. Um, so you hear a shout from the end of the room. Uh, Kill Nerik. Don't let them take him. Question: Would he actually? Would Nerik actually disappear as well no, as if no, he's in the stealth field? No. Um, that's, okay. that's, that's, that's scary, isn't it? <laughs> Someone levitating away. Okay, so they're medium from you, and do you want Are to... Are they shooting at, shooting at Narek himself or me? Nerik. They're shooting at Narek. Okay, so what can I do here then? I could uh, probably upgrade can I dodge for him? If you want to take the fire. Uh, if you, yeah, I'll, I'll let you apply your dodges if you're trying sure. to actually get into I'll, it. I'll dodge twice. Oh, okay. Someone's nimble. Okay, do you want to flip? Yeah. Uh, no, nah, we'll save that last one. Okay, so... Okay. So you you see a, a blaster bolt slam right into Narek's chest. Wait, he can't find soak. Uh, and it looks like it, it hurt him pretty badly. Hmm. So he gasps in shock as he hears Jakaos, this longtime friend, tell them to kill him. Yeah, as soon as that happens, Girls is gonna like whisper in his, his ghostly voice, this is what the Empire does. Ooh. Come with us. Uh, he's no longer he, he doesn't resist anymore. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I guess the two PT to the two initial PC slots will probably be taken up by Gristle and Macron taking Bar out. Yeah, so Macron like I guess grabs the thing off his wrist, right? And then Uh Yeah, if so. it's a, if it, if he's not going to resist, Macron will just take it all off. Okay. I mean yeah. So yeah, we'll just bail out and then we'll try to get a reading on where where Hase is real quick, I guess. Okay, uh, you sense it down south and to the southwest. We have people in that area. Okay, then we'll yeah we'll say or Macro could say actually over chat or I'm whatever. Typing it right now. To the southwest of where you are right now. So. Oh, in the house still? Not in the house. Well, I can't. Okay. okay. Southwest. That's the direction you get. So, uh, it only just points to the southwest. I can't, like, guess. Maybe it would just be to the west of them. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it probably would give you a reading in terms of distance. So let me, let me measure that out, since we do have a measuring tool. Whoa, roll 20. Wouldn't it, sorry, wouldn't it be easy if you just gave it to Chris, or you could just stealth his way in? Well, I mean, well, we just, we're not we don't know where it is. Yeah, we're just we're telling, to... we're telling the South team where it is so they can get it, because it seems like they might be closer. Oh, okay, the Imperials are routed. Yeah, okay. So it's South... Oh, no, that's too... Southwest plus. Um, so I think that's 160 feet? 160 from you, so... I don't know if you actually want to run it. Those calculations. Uh, you know that it would be to the northwest of them. Northwest of them. Okay, so we so we know it's like kind of the west side of the of the house, basically. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey guys, uh, Jim is uh, I'm Raptor two. Jim's Raptor one. I see. Yeah. Other guys. Does it say? No. You just you just get a general direction. Uh, I'm gonna e back uh, Dara to that jump master. Okay, um, so you use both your maneuvers to continue dragging her out. So you get about there. To the stairs. Start to get in. Lots of freaking stairs. <laughs> it is a manor, so. Go on, R2, slide down the banisters. 
Okay. Uh, so do I? Uh, do they get to go, or do I have a turn? Uh, if uh, it depends on how much you think Whistle and I consumed those PC slots. There were two of them. At the very beginning, yeah, we just kind of yeah, they, moved a bit. Yeah. Uh, if, oh. if you consider both those spent, then yeah, two NPCs get to go. Okay. Okay, so one of them. Uh, so this is after the the initial one, right? After the first PC slot, yeah. This is. Okay. So one of the PC slot has already been spent this turn or this round. Okay, so the one two stormtroopers left of this squad move forward, and they're gonna fire at Narek again. So are you gonna do the same thing, Grizzle? Yep. Protect my buddy. Yeah. Okay. And they still have all that annoying sound in their head. Um, so let's see. They use both their maneuvers to get there. They miss. Yay! So yeah, uh, you actually take a glancing blow from that, but it doesn't uh, doesn't hurt you. Okay, and now they get to try and break down this door. Uh, unfortunately, though, these stormtroopers are not trained in athletics, like their their elite is. But he's already moved. Oh, he found her in a shed. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the door is secure. It looks like they're trying to break through over here. Okay, and so everyone's evacuating still? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I think we can go narrative time at this point. Uh, let's communicate Okay, I, I want to actually, before we bug completely... See if I can't cause a little bit of a collapse. Okay, you cut out for me. What are you? What are you thinking? I want, cause uh, the force bag it says in the description, if you turn it on lethal mode, it's strong enough to pierce stone. And I figured this kind of weakened structure might be victim to a collapse if I hit part of the wall on this side. Um, I'd At say least... that you know that that's it's it's. I mean, it's in disrepair, but only five years of disrepair. It's not like you know, a hundred years of decay, and, um, I, 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 I don't think that's very likely. Okay, well then to switch that out, I'll pull up my blaster pistol and see if I can't take pot shots at the stormtroopers. Okay, yeah, as you run by, um, go ahead and give me a ranged light with two setbacks from their cover. Okay. What is my ranged light? I rarely use it. Nope. Okay, yeah, and so you're running to the south. Um, Whoops. Oh, I can't move him. Okay, Tommy sent me something. Okay. Okay, um, what you see as you start running south um, is that everyone is starting to storm the um, estate. Devlix, um, everyone else, so I think, let me make sure with Tommy, I think we're ready to reconvene. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. actually, as, as we come around the side of the building, Grizzle's gonna, like, take his jacket kind of off and shield Narek with it, like, put it over his head so no one can see who it is. Okay. As we enter, like, this group with a ton of people in it. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the main chat so we all can hear each other. So, okay, see you guys over there. <laughs>